kitchen begins Find yourself within Take up your blade Let the fears within fade Stories are told As the day roll Don't be afraid Make your sin Monster nor foe can fill you with woe. Enemies in sight, it's time to roll down. Oh, for initiative, check please. Hello, everyone. Good to see everyone again. Hello. Hello. Hey. It's been too Good long. to be back. It's been too long. I agree. <laughs> well, welcome to Check Please, the D and D live show, a game of exploration and evasion for my players. I'm your DM Beardy, and down here are my lovely players. Hello, my name is Kenny. I play Risen the Fate Weaver. Hello, I'm Foley. I play Curla, the Half Orc Life Oracle. And I'm Zeno. I play the Swarmonger Vera Vespid. I'm Screwy, I play Petravian, the High Keeper Paladin of Eden and Malefra. And I'm Grum, I play Lovette, the Clockwork Gnomish Summoner. And with that, let's roll. So last time, the party finished up all of their business in Prota and were whisked away by a group of wizards uh, in a teleportation circle down to an area known as the Blight. They're here tracking down a mysterious necromantic power that may hold the key to reversing the damage of the Deadlands. So, we open on the evening of the 12th of August, the year 768. You all find yourselves pulled back into reality on the edges of an area of total devastation. Sparse green grasses give way to barren rocky soil that seems to stretch lifelessly on as far as the eye can see to the south. What would you like to do? Oh, there goes gravity. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I would like to make a reception check and see if I see Marcus and if I can win the game, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Give me a perception check. Got it. Perception check, please. Oh, it, are we actually... They said the name of the thing. That's a 34. All right. They said that. Thing. Excellent. Very good roll. All right, Severa, you peer you know, into the blight and you see this area of just sort of blasted land. There's there's no plants. There's no animals of any kind. You don't even really see clouds much there. It's just sort of this, this gray space. Um, you don't see Marcus down there. So... I could still them. be there, but you don't see him with the 34. Either, either Marcus? A any three either Marcus. Three? Yeah. There's been a lot of Marcuses. There have been a lot of Marcuses. <laughs> yeah, for a minute there, I really there did. There may be more to come. The what? one that came too. to mind was the one with the K, not the C, for a moment there. It... You know, in a new season, we could all play as a different form of a Marcus. <laughs> mm, that's Same. true. Yeah. Well, we all have to find a different spelling then. Like, someone mm -hmm. can have the H after the C, and someone can have the double K. Yeah. Well, you have a murder of crows. What would a bunch of Marcus? A travesty. Be a murder of Marcus. I mean, <laughs> Moira would say that anyway. I like a travesty. <laughs> Good night, folks. Travesty's nice. I like that. <laughs> oh, yikes. <laughs> Bye, Scurry. But back We're to definitely the... back if Scurry is getting the crap beaten out of him already. <laughs> back to the well, story. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we have just seen the bite pretty much for the first time. Does mm -hmm. this look like the Deadlands? Not really, no. Really? It doesn't. So the, dead, no. so the Deadlands is black and white. Like, there's literally no color there. There's no temperature there. Um, it's almost as if it's outside of reality in a lot of ways. And it's an area where, like, everything is stuck in stasis. Like, the moment it died, it's just frozen in that in that respect. Like, you go in the Deadlands, and there is grass. But it it's it's not alive. You can step on it, and it'll just you know, crumble. Um, here, it's just more like a desert, almost. Like a rocky okay. desert that goes off forever. Oh, thank God. <laughs> no yeah, time right? shenanigans today. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no time shenanigans. So this is a, a different area of devastation. Oh, I was, I was more like, oh, I wonder if any of my abilities are going to work. Mm. <laughs> uh, whoopsies. Yeah. Unfortunately, fair. skelly men don't exactly work well with the swarm oh. monger. Oh, I'm abilities. talking about the deadlands, as in, like oh, my right, abilities don't work there. Fucking <laughs> yeah. incapacitated. Swarms are the yeah. yeah. Swarms are all bees. I mean, not that they'd really help against skeletons though. Uh, bees versus skeletons. I'm pretty sure a skeleton is still afraid of a bee. Have you ever seen? That's why they don't have any. Bee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what does right. it look like, though, other than just like a rocky wasteland? Yeah, yeah a, a rocky wasteland that stretches on as far as the eye can see to the south. Okay. We don't see any <clears throat> uh, any landmarks, per se. You don't see any. It, there's not even like. I mean, there's a mountain to far, far to the west, uh, to the tune of about 120 miles, which is far beyond what you can see right now. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, you can't actually see that mountain. I wanna... Where you guys are currently, you can see a forest to your north, and you can see this this stretch out span of nothingness to your south. Hmm. Not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. Yeah. This is kind of pleasant, you know. No, but it's empty. It's at least you're not getting jumped. Pretty uh, much what I meant. <laughs> you think okay. maybe it's you know trying to lull us into a false sense of security? No, not at all. I think I it's just. I don't feel secure. Yeah. This place gives me the creeps. Well, I don't feel scared because like, eh, I don't fear a lot of things. Uh, but what uh, do you fear? The gods. Mm. All of them. I thought yeah. you loved the gods. Of course I love the gods. But you fear them doesn't, as well. Doesn't seem like a I very good relationship. Being good man. feeling is, a, is an indication of being very religious. So maybe no, no, it's... it's, it's it, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's a healthy respect for... See? These two get it. These two get it. Yeah, but you should... I mean, don't you trust the people you're worshipping? Very much so. Thanks for your respect. It was super fair. They were like... Do not do this, or Shemish will curse you. No, no, Don't no, do no. that, or Shemish will curse you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. It's like this. Uh, you know, uh, the, the best description I have, I, it might be not to be equivalent, but you know, you have your parents, and to a lot of children, their parents are God, yes? Like, before they really understand religion. Well... If your parent is angry with you, you kind of fear them, yes? Like, you don't want to get in trouble because you did something bad. Like, that is a uh, healthy amount of fear. Mm -hmm. I mean, What's the fuck? They, just tell, they just told us not to pee on certain trees. The Wait. gods told you that? Wait, oh, your what? parents. Sorry. Oh, you, I'm still so, I'm so Riz, Riz looks early. disappointed in you, Petravia. <laughs> what? I just feel like you're making shit up at this point. No, well... Well, no, come to think of it, maybe that was just so I stopped peeing on their trees. I don't How many know. fucking trees are you peeing on? Please. And well, Aiden was, was alright really, with that? There was, was one something... I really liked that had a gorgeous view over the valley. You know what, I don't want to hear this story anymore. I just decided right now. Just now? Just now, yeah. Rude. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to be worse than the Netherlands, so let's just head it. Okay? Where are we going? Uh, straight? I have no an idea. Marks. I have an idea as well. You go first. I have got a telescope and I can fly. Uh, I was going to say... We could just start in the direction and I could scry. Uh, How about we do my cheap thing first and your more expensive one second? Oh, it doesn't cost me anything. Well, it costs you. Can't you, can you do that as yeah. many times as you want every day? I, I I have one ready for the day. It's just kind of well, there. I don't change it out, we though. We might need it. Right. What if we get there and he ran away? We have to find him. I realize the times have the essence, but, you know, it is getting a little bit late and we have had rather a non-stop day, what with winning in the arena and getting sucked into a book and should we maybe rest up so we're fresh in the morning? Sure. How about we stay out here? We're right outside the blight. It's probably safer than going in and staying right away. Right. That was, that was my thought. So hmm. I can get Vardo ready if you would like. Sure. Sounds nice. Levette, could you at least look up 
right now and see yes. what you can find. I'm gonna start flying up and uh, look through my uh, excuse me, my scope on my crossbow and see if I can find any landmarks. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and make a uh, perception perception check then. You got it. In the meantime, I'll cast Bardo Vargon. Okay. That is a thirty. Right. So with a thirty, you look out into the this this blighted land to your uh, south and southwest, and partially west as well, and you look out into this area and you see just this rocky expanse of of nothingness. Really, there's there's no hills. Of really to speak of, there's no mountain to speak of. This is sort of a rolling plain of rocky soil and not much else. You don't see anything in there from where you're at that looks like it's of any note whatsoever. So if you're looking, if there's something in there, it's far deeper in there than you can see from where you're at. Well, I'll come back and relay that. It's, there's nothing, it's gone. Man, it's just empty. Are we like, sure we went to the right place? Wait, I mean, it's it's clay. Not like that land's clay, but it's like, it's different. It's just flat everywhere. Curla's going to turn to Petravian. Hey, hey, big guy, can you, you know, sort of do the thing that you have where you stamp your foot and get an idea of what might be underground? Is that still I mean, it your... doesn't go That's very nice. far, but I can try. Just a thought. felt something. I can't do that. Yes, yeah, so maybe uh, there are tunnels. <laughs> Could I? Ex I'd like to expend all of my uh, tremor sense. Maybe would that allow me a further ability? Like to to if I concentrate harder and harder, maybe get further out. Uh, it's not really how that works. Mm. But I mean, even then, like it's that would still even really like, short range stuff. Like okay, I think it's it's sixty feet by default, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So yeah, like. Oh, um, I didn't know it was that short of range. Yeah, it's, yeah. No, really, it's it's, it's kind of really short. short range. Yeah, like it's it's meant for detecting stuff close by. Great for dungeons. <laughs> yeah, great for dungeons. We'll probably need it, so don't don't worry too much. It's still a useful skill, okay? Yay. Mm -hmm. No, that it really doesn't go all that far. Uh I mean, oh, kind of, it's more of a close combat kind of thing. I gotcha. I was gonna try and think if I could, you know, pick up any undead around here, but it doesn't go all that far either, so. Hmm. I fail you. It's all good. I would like to activate my Eye of the Protector and use Detect Ooh. Magic and see if this is magical or if it's, everything is just kind of just dead and like dying around here. Yeah, go for it. I do it. <laughs> <laughs> they do the thing. All right, and you said you're you're detecting if like magic. You said yeah, because I assume that okay. with the deadland, it was all just magic. Just if I like looked at yeah. it, it'd just be like bright, mm -hmm. yes. horrible garbage. Okay. Yeah, it was it was this necromantic soup of spells. That were kind of <laughs> in it was terrible. Yummy. Um, well, yeah, you, you activate your eye, as I'm assuming what you're doing, and mm -hmm. look it in there. Okay, cool. So your eye, you know, activates, you look into this area, and you do get this a similar sense of necromantic magic. Um, it's not nearly as overblown as the Deadlands. The Deadlands was a mix of a lot of different magic happening at the same time. This one is one singular effect that's just sort of leeching the life out of this area. Okay. Um, it there it still is magical and it still is um, coming from somewhere deeper into this place. Okay, so it's still like a almost like an area effect of magic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yep. Well, it, it does look like it's just like a smaller version in a way of what's happening in the Deadlands. Hmm. Like it's just one basic form of necromancy. Just that's the whole what? thing. That's weird. I, I, I mean, it makes sense, I guess, because the Magus spell was the Deadlands, more necromantic energy there, but I also kind of expected more of it here since 
Marcus was here, I... I... Well, he well, wasn't the only one involved, right? Right, right. Well, I'm sure that Marcus put more effort into that mega spell than he did on his dying corpse. I'd well, assume. That's, that's fair. Riz, are you able to scry on an item? I mean, are we considering that book an item because I'm considering it its own sentience? I was thinking either the book or the or the standard. If you did the standard, it would be part of the book, so we would know where the book is. I probably would be easier for me to find the book since it has sentience mm. than the standard because I can find people, not items. Though mm. I... I probably should have fucking taken a spell to do that now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! I had one Oopsies. that I was close to taking and decided not to as yeah. well, so I'm right there with you, Kenny. I'm like, hmm, this probably would have gone a lot faster, but you know what? Fuck it. We're here now. Uh, so, if we're just gonna hang out for the night, um, okay. well, I mean, it takes me about an hour to do it, so it's good to be able to just sit tonight probably and concentrate on it, see if I can um, catch them off guard. It is possible they can dismiss the scry, though. I hope you understand that. Um, mm. Well, they already are gonna know that we're coming, so at least there's that. It won't matter if they pick up on it. This is true, but we can see if they're even in here or if they're mm. in a specific place so I can, like, maybe pinpoint or at least see around them because it's not like I, I get like a I'm right here or anything of scrying. I get to know the actions of the person, kind of their surroundings vaguely, you know. You understand? Mm. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. You like watch them? Yeah, it's kind of like I'm seeing through their eyes in third person almost, like right over their shoulder. Like a stucco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe not the nicest way of putting it, but I mean, accurate, but yeah, yeah I not mean, inaccurate. Just, 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 right. It's not that mean, is it? I mean, uh, I, I, mean, I don't used to call me a stalker. People called you a stalker. Why did you stalk oh, never someone? Mind. So anyway, <laughs> you're um, not a stalker. Thank you, Pepper. We should... Anyway. Let's, You're let's... just very enthusiastic. I feel like there's a lot to unpack here. Yeah, let's unpack right. that later. I said used to. The Vardo is open. Riz just opens the door, and it's it's open, and, and it's beautiful. Everyone has their rooms and everything ready, as they have seen in many, many times. If you wouldn't mind, Beardy, putting up the map. Already on it. Thank you. Home, you. Home, uh... sweet home. You fancy a cup of tea, Raz? Uh, sure. That sounds fine. Right. Carla, uh, uh, anyone else, you know, tea? No, I'm fine. Oh, uh, sure. You can put honey in it. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna, gonna be working on my scythe, actually. And we're just gonna take out their uh, whetstone and just kind of sharpen up. Well, the first thing a bit. Carla will cross over to the little kitchenette area and... Uh, Put That's the a kettle desk. on. I, yeah, I'm <laughs> looking for the kitchenette area. <laughs> um, yeah, Riz will help. They'll probably be taking out like honey, sugars, flavored things such as hazelnut, because <clears throat> that's the shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, hello, Archie. It is good to see you. I'm really glad I made those ceilings larger. Yes, he was a good guy. <laughs> yes, I am glad to be here. Is Archie able to fit in his own room? I don't know if he can anymore. <laughs> <gasps> oh no! I mean, at least not he on this map. Sleep in there. Um, no, he, he can't. He can't fit through a five foot doorway anymore now. Yeah. So, uh, at least on this map, he can't. But in uh, a more realistic sense, Riz would have. Shaping things so that it fit him okay. better. Would have made a board gotcha. door. Yeah. Could he sort okay. of ball up and then be deployed inside the room? I think that's what we were doing yeah. originally, anyways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I feel like he'd probably spend most of his time in there balled up since it's where he's sleeping. Just got like a pillow on the bed that the ball sits on. 
There we Levert, go. Tay, did you say you wanted some or, you know? Sure, thank you. Uh, so, Javian, do you drink tea or? It's a yes or no what question, you? buddy. Yes, I would like some tea, please. Great. Okay. Incredible. We'll just potter around making tea and hand it out to the, the relatively the respective people. Mm. Uh, well, but I don't know if you want to do this in your room, but we had kind of spoken before about talking after we had not died, which I told you we weren't going to, so, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I wasn't thinking about that being now because it seems like it is still up for review, but I guess that's going to be a, an, an ongoing thing, isn't it? Isn't that always going to be the case that we're, you know, five seconds from death? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. We're not and really we're, five seconds yeah. from death right now, though. And if anything, no. those five seconds are really easy to get back for me. You say that as you hear Vera sharpening a scythe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared. <laughs> oh yeah, of course not. Why would why would Riz be scared? They're fucking crazy. Why would they be scared? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, sure, we can talk about these. It's, I, wh yeah. it's when you're comfortable. If you are ready, it is fine. If you are not, it's okay. I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to be ready. Uh, yeah, um, I need to, I need to try something. Uh, if you're okay with it, I have a device here. I'm gonna pull out my little uh, pack empathy clamp things. Um, if uh. Well, sometimes they don't find the right world, so like the world don't want to come out. These help uh, understand one another's feelings without needing to use wells as a time. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I have so I, have, I said I owe you an explanation. That's very curious. If you want to come with. Well, I was gonna ask if you wanted some privacy, but you know, if this is the same conversation, then sure, That's I'll, the I'll same come conversation. with. All right. Alright, uh, I will cast Pack Empathy and hand each of you one of these these little clamps. Just on the back of the neck? Yes, it pinches for just a second. Okay, uh, and, and Riz will actually kneel down. Can you actually get this for me? And they, they kind sure. of pull off their cloak slightly, and, and their shirt itself is um, a shoulderless one. It, it ends at their chest, and it's it's kind of oval, so it doesn't go over their shoulders at all. Um, and you see scars on their, like, little scratches on their back, if anything. Scarred scratches. When you just, like, a second's on. hesitation and then put it on. Thank you um, very much. Sorry. It, I find it, like, hard to reach that area a little. You know? I, I just want, yeah. didn't want to mess it up, because, you know... I mean, you got a lot of hell, so I just... I think you have a lot of hell. Oh, I, I think I got a piece of hell back. I see is yours. Scar is going to be busy sticking theirs in the back of their neck, so they're not even going to notice uh, what's going on over there. Thank you, Lovett. the scars. That girls. Can it, is it working? It's a little weird to get used to. So I think it is. I can tell you. I think you'll be neutral. Yeah, Riz doesn't uh, seem to have much emotion. Okay, is this working? coming out. Um, what What is Lovett feeling? Probably really nervous because she's oh. about to talk about something that she doesn't like to talk about. Kind of feels like my chest is constricting. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, it's working. Ugh, this is <laughs> awful. <laughs> here, here, put this on to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> not sure that Would you I like have feel this some on. anxiety? Right, because I'm not getting either. A... Levette, give us a hand, would you? Oh, yeah, sure. Also, do the same, clamp it on. It's one cast for multiple people. Yeah, right. that's fine. So, so, did, uh, so just to be clear, it's just Curla and Riz in this effect with you? I think so. Okay. I don't, oh, cool. the, everyone else already knows about all this shit, so she doesn't really see reason to drag them into the conversation. And the effect is that you feel what we're feeling and we feel what you're The feeling. spell lets you have a... Uh, you can sense the other's overall emotional states. Uh which allows them to communicate basic emotional concepts. Flat now, line. is that sort of you, me and you and, and Riz, Riz we're directly all to you and back? Link. But uh, uh, my all question is, am I feeling Riz as yes, well? Yes, all three of us have a link. I mean, okay, are you, though? 
Are you feeling me? <laughs> not quite sure what you mean. Um, it's a flat line. There's so much neutral energy, it's not... Right, okay. So what you said to... Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Brain not quite engaged yet. Uh, I guess what you're getting off Curla is a lot of anger and a lot of confusion and a lot of grief underneath all of that. Plus trying to normalize things with tea. So a slight feeling of being better because tea. I don't know if I like this spell of it. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It was. It's not permanent. Don't worry. Oh, they, I mean, we could probably make it permanent if you wanted to. It could be funny, like a little joke. Oh, eh. uh, I, I think it's a little joke if it's not permanent. It's kind of more than the, the last level. Anyway. Anyways, to your room or um. Sure. Okay. If there's enough space. You, uh... In fact, I think maybe it's time to bust out a spell. Although, I don't really have the time to cast it. I don't think okay. i got to double check how long it takes, but... Uh... Have some time, two hours. Uh... It's gonna be a boring conversation. Yeah, I was <laughs> gonna say, I mean, could I just kind of, like... Like, I'm gonna spend two hours, could I spend two hours on it? that takes part the tail end of the conversation. I guess, what, what spell are you cast? <laughs> uh, one of my new ones. Okay. The Demi Lane. Oh, I see. Oh, I mean... Hmm. I guess you could. we could just say you spend two hours doing this and then pull them into a conversation. Sure, I'm fine with that as well. Yeah. However, however you want to work that out. But yeah, it does take two hours to make that. Um, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll burn the spell and I will spend the money in a moment. Alright. Um, shink, shink. But yeah, I'm gonna. Actually, uh, you know, we might have a bigger space. And I've been wanting to try something out. Uh, and I pull out this little box. Uh, it's it's single handheld. It's like this little cube with an intricate design, similar to Archie's. Uh, we can talk in here. Right. That is a box. Hi. Wait, sorry. Okay, here. I start messing with the buttons, and then uh, finally I press a button, and I drop it on the ground, and it, like, expands and then turns into a doorway. And then when I open the door, there's, like, light coming through. Is, oh, that's new. Um, is that what happens when you light. solve a Rubik's Cube? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never <laughs> finished one, so... <laughs> yeah, so what happens if you don't take the stickers off. <laughs> Are we about to die? I mean, um, I'm fine with it if I am. I just want to know. Well, it's untested, so I can't give you a show. Cool. Answer, they snap through. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Well, after you, Levat. It doesn't... It shouldn't hurt. In ah, any way. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, so uh, painful. Uh, take that to mean it's fine, and Curla will step in as well. Please, we can feel that you're not. Sheep. Well, you caught me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and inside is this big, like, uh, it's just a giant clockwork fortress. Like, everything is just, uh, like, metal walls with clocks underneath, or, or ticking gears of some kind. What the hell do you do when you have to wind this? I mean, where do you even start? Well, By the time boxes. you get finished, don't you have to start again? Um, no, no, it's still perpetuating. I feel like this is very, uh, thematic for a really cool fight scene where you're like, ah, I don't want to get crushed by the cogs and stuff. I think this could be cool. Well, and I'm hoping nobody attacks us here. I'm hoping to turn it into a workshop. And I can also keep a lot of scene feel. That's amazing. Uh, besides what I make in my head, I can't really keep too much in the bar, though, that besides what exists in our natural plane. Yeah, I was worried about. It, I stopped building this power play too because I, the valve made it seem redundant, but then I thought about that. But anyway, this is even about it. Uh, right, uh, le life story. Well, the way you start with this. Well, uh, we kind of talked a little. I was inquiring about uh, Moira and why you chose to make uh, her. And I think I was asking you about family. Relationship Fine. with your father, if I you know, recall. 
Um, well, what was that thing you said the other day, Luis, about talents being like gods? Oh, so it's a very common thing that when children are being raised, they don't really understand the concept of religion, but in a sense they understand that the most important being in their life is their parent. So in a way, that is their god, in the simplest sense, that is who they worship almost. That's who they are at back and call it. It is complicated and perhaps not the prettiest thought, but in truth, mother or father is like God to a child. That makes sense. Um, oh, Parent. Yeah. I hate to be the one putting false all the questions, but how would, how would you feel if the gods just left one day? But she told you had nothing to do with you, and then disappeared. I'd probably kill myself. That's... Growing up okay. in Talayana, and then what happened, what happened, that, that's more or less how I felt. I, I yeah. called on them for their help, and none of them came, so... I, well... I came close to what Rez was talking there, so, yeah. Um... We may... I didn't know my mother was a, a dark elf like we met in the underground. Um, right, you mentioned up, that. Yes, I, but I knew I was half elfish. And uh, it was uh, not always easy. The, the, the dark elf thing I mentioned was just because of that. It was just would say that to me if I was looking at them and not talking for any reason. You know? What are you doing? Why are you being so creepy? Uh, and uh, so my my mother left, and I was just with my father, and then uh, Moira showed up. She was just a friend at school, but she didn't. The Moira I built is kind of different in a way, in a number of important ways. But one way I I made on purpose. The moral I knew couldn't do any of those things. Uh, what what things exactly? Any things. Uh, walk up stairs without collapsing. Those things. Thank you for clarifying that. Yeah. Normal so, breathing, talking without coughing. I'm guessing anything that involves physical activity. Yeah. So she was sick. I mean, it was a forever thing. What Genetic? Kind of, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it wasn't hereditary, it was a sort of a, a, an accident, an unusual mutation, but uh, yeah, this is why I put the things on, I'm having a hard time with the world. Take your time. Yeah, what's the sense that we're getting now? Um, just a lot of, I mean, I don't know, a lot of anxiety. It probably just uh, caught up in trying to find the right way to explain things. Uh, and a lot of bittersweet memories. Um, you guys just get wait. curiosity from Riz. I, I think you got on that Well, and I were more than friends. And uh, I didn't really know that at the time, but uh, I still, I guess, acted on it. And I couldn't really take her sickness before. It was uh, it was too much to deal with seeing she was so kind and so caring, and and she got such a bad stick for it. And everyone else was so cruel, and they were fine. And I didn't think it was fair, so I tried to fix it. I built a device as a part of my studies to try and fix her, uh, try and energize her body by energizing her soul. Um, but it didn't work out. It, it, it's the opposite of that, it just sucked the soil right out of her. What, what went wrong? I don't know. I never found out. 
I must have made a mistake. Didn't uh, didn't Lavette find out? She found out that there was sabotage, but she never found out who, so she's not going to assume that was true. And what you you blame blame your, yourself? Is that is that why you made the simulacrum? Well, uh, what the Oh, that's just the start of this story. <laughs> this, we're not even, we're barely even started. I, I apologize, just take your time, I'm just, you know, trying it's to a, understand. I told you it was a long story, and I'm, I'm trying not to be all dramatic about it, but... Uh, if that was it. I mean, yes, I did. For a long time. This, the school did not look favorably on it, they kicked me out. They said that I was dangerous. I, I think they were looking for a reason to do that. And, uh, I mean, they, uh... Mortals tend to fear what they do not understand. And overreact when things happen that they don't understand. Suddenly. I guess so. I kind of always thought gnomes were different, but I guess not. So that not understanding was kind of part of the excitement for us. Um... So... I was uh, alone for a while because uh, both my parents had left. I guess to to get back to what you were saying, Kola, my, my mother left when I was very young and then my father was there for all this, but he couldn't take it. Uh, he couldn't be without his wife for so long and he didn't know she was okay, so he went looking for her. So it was just me. Uh, but then I found Archie. And then uh, I decided I might as well go looking for them because I didn't have anything else. So and that's when I met. Yeah. I am so sorry, but oh. just to confirm, you did not make Archie. You have only improved upon. I did not build Archie. Continue. Uh, Con Um. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I. You probably feel a, a wave of embarrassment from her when you say that, though. I, I feel bad. Kenny feel bad. Uh, Riz is still a flatline neutral. Fair enough. You're getting a, a like tiny amount of impatience from Curla, but actually there's a far more sort of just genuine outpouring of empathy. Um. Right. So that that's that's how I met Vera uh, and Malchus. Vitravium was in jail. So. And that's a whole nother story that maybe we can tell you about it sometime if you really care. But the fun part of this story is that uh, we we went back eventually. We I got a note from my parents that they went back to the sea mile and everyone went back with me. And I tried to fix it again. I, I went back and I, uh, I showed... Uh, my father and Kelly's my schematics and they thought that it should have fly up and they're pretty smart so I tried it again and uh, she she died um well that's maybe not exactly accurate she uh right so now we get to use the part of this story where Malchus is involved in why I make the mouse one of him <laughs> Right. And to be to be clear, this is the Marcus the, with the you know the not the Marcus we're looking for the Marcus the assuming that they're not Marcus. related, yes, the one we found right. in Dees. Right, right. I, that's yes. what I figured, but I wanted to be clear. The one I built. Well, I didn't build that one. Someone else built that one. I assume that is the one we are looking for. Maybe that would make sense. So we, I. We've told you about Marcus before, that he was a construct, and that he consumed souls. Very and, uh, unfortunate. Yeah, and uh, I mean, it's, it is voluntary for he, or it was, his, his eating is for us. But um, my device kind of fucked that up. I see. And so she wasn't just dead, she was, she was really gone. And I held a lot of resentment for that. I figured that. Well, I don't know, I was just mad. 
I just was mad and I wanted him dead. And there, I know that Vera and Petravian, or so Petravian doesn't really know the story. Uh, and now they don't, they, they think it's silly for me to keep blaming myself about everything, but I really wanted him dead. I was so angry. I was ready to tell the world about, to get, me, to, to get even. I didn't think fixing things were possible. And then I found out they were, but I would have to kill him. We have to rip it right out of him, and he wouldn't survive. And to make things a hell of a little more complicated, he agreed to that plan. So, but it didn't work out. We, well, it, it worked. We ripped his soul out. He died. Maria was back. But she wasn't herself. She was a monster. Like me. Well, then. And, uh, what do you mean, like you? I mean, you could probably feel her just growing overwhelming guilt as the story goes on. I mean, so many people died for for me, for, for this. Not just Marcus, Moira, the Moiraises, however many gnomes, all, all the mess. I mean, everything, like, all the, all the blood I cut through just to get to that point. Oh. God, sorry. Cat is screaming right <laughs> <in> my <mind. laughs> I can barely hear it, so it's okay. Mm, okay, you're cool. good. I'm very much gonna hear it. There's music, so it's fine. Who put this cat in this demiplane? <laughs> is that another one of your simulacra? <clears throat> that crap. I thought we were calling them constructs since they were like, you know, clockwork. Oh, yeah, that's easier to say as well in the plural, so constructs. Yeah. I have also I mean, I guess that's the story, yeah. I don't know. That's. I, I kind of meandered there. Um, that's why there's a, there's a new Malchus and a new Moira. Because you felt bad? Well, I. I had these schematics for both of them for a long. for a couple of people. For a long time. Couple and, of uh, people? And yeah, I both of them. I I I put some practice schematics as well. Um, well, as in your what? So you can build other people? I'm just well, I mean, I'm not going this. to do that. I just, it just, I was, I was in a weird place. Anyway. <laughs> what sense am I getting off Levant now? Uh, God, how do I articulate this? Like. Annoyed is probably not the right word. She's, I mean, she's avoidant. She's clearly being intentionally avoidant. Hmm. Um. Shoot, my brain just totally erased from that. <laughs> All right, building the fake people. <laughs> um. Well, when I found out, I was going to leave it alone. I had the schematics, and I decided against it, and uh. Well, then I found out Malchus somehow had a son, and that, I don't know, I I got so messed up in so many people hurt, and who knows how much of it was because cause my gods weren't there for me, and they didn't feel like they wanted to acknowledge me, so I thought... How many gods did you worship? I just do. Like me? You think she's talking about her parents? Yeah. So sorry. <laughs> That's okay. But I, I don't know Malchus' well, son, obviously. But I guess I just kind of panicked. I figured I could prevent someone ending up like me. And so I went for you. And uh, it felt good. It felt like I did the right thing at the time. So. I thought I could try again with my eyes, so she's not the same person, maybe, but uh, if she had the same health, like, I don't know, I, I thought 
تغيير الماي غادي غايت من الماي would be happy to know that I was trying to to make someone happy. I guess maybe I should be focusing on the people that are still here. We've we've talked about it a little bit before, but I have to ask: is is there any part of of your marker, sorry, your Moira constructs that? that has the original in them? I mean... I guess my interpretation of them... Uh, it's not what I mean. I mean, you know, their essence, their soul. Wait, well, no, that answer with you. You know, it's just... It's just what I put in them. Right. I don't have their essence. But yeah, I don't know. A lot of this, it's been a long time for a lot of this. I've had time to put it behind me. Uh, I mean, hmm. yeah, I guess I was pretty vague on the whole people dying part. About my father dying, and you did ask about that. Oh yeah, I guess I did. Okay, fine, I'm not done with this story. Okay, so, so, so Moira became a monster. And, uh, and it, she, I mean, she didn't, she couldn't control it. It wasn't like she was just, I don't think, just malicious, but she attacked people when we weren't around and I wanted to blame other people. I wanted to blame people who were mean to me because I felt like uh, it would just work out better if they got what was coming to them instead of. Moira, who I felt like did nothing wrong. Um, and that was definitely the wrong choice. So uh, we, we went and fought them, and they were ready to fight back, which made me all the more confident in my decision. But then a bunch of, bunch of chaos ensued, and my mother's disguise fell, so that with her girls found her and punished her, turned her into uh, the, the, the thing, I don't even know what they're called, the, the spider thing. And she seems to hate it, and uh, it made her go crazy, and so she killed my father. Oh. Um, yeah. That is a lot. It was a big day. It was a really, it was a lot of process. I try not to think about it too much, and then it's okay. I mean, I can understand that. I feel like you've had a lot happen all at once, which isn't great, you know. I mean, I do it to get it out of the way, right? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> do you feel any better? I just feel less. Which is, I guess, better. What, not feeling anything? I mean, yeah. Compared to how that, that day felt, yeah. Lovett, in the library, we spoke a little bit about curses and such. I will try to help. I make no promises within my power, but... If I can do something... I will try it. Thank you. I appreciate you telling us... All of this. If you're looking for atonement, you've, you've come to the wrong person as far as I'm concerned, but... I don't think so. I don't really believe in atonement. Well, it's not really a thing that's good no. or healthy. My point I is, mean, uh, yeah. are you able to go back to, to where they died? To, to this, this email? Right. Oh, I, mean, I don't think like so. It sounds like you're left in a bit of chaos. 
Yeah, I mean, if we went back, they'd probably arrest me on sight. <laughs> cool. And then what? kill me. Not as cool. But, like, pretty fucking metal if you think about it with the whole, like, yeah, they'd arrest me on sight. Because I have plenty yeah. of towns where they do that to me in other worlds. That's true. Riz oh, has the death sentence on 12 different star systems. <laughs> 12 <laughs> systems? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> well, I, I ask because if, if we could get back there, if you could get back there, somehow. No, well, I mean I could, I can, but I don't think I should. Maybe I could do something to help. That's that's why I ask. I'd have to be there, but maybe I could do something to help to get you some closure. What, 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 what are you thinking? Because I've been trying to help it out, and I've been learning to just leave it alone. It's... It's hard to explain. You know, I... I get these flashes of imagining that I can do something. You know, seeing myself doing it. And more often than not, I find that I can. It's, it's the, the power that's in me. And I think... If I was near where they died, if their souls are still out there somewhere, I might be able to bring you in touch with them. At least your Not father, I'm sure. guessing, because as you said about Moira... Yeah, I don't think that's happening, but it would be nice to talk to my father again. Did I make the wrong choice in peace? Not even all of this. Which choice? I... I convinced myself that not breaking the girls on my mother and accepting all of these gifts was a righteous decision for my, my family. But... I don't know. I think that I was actually being more selfish. I could have helped a lot of people. Do you mean when we were in this? Yes, in this. I mean... I was proud of you because... To be fairly honest, I just really hate most elder beings. I'm curious about Vera's, so I'm trying not to be too harsh when I speak about it, but... I really do not like this world's death which hungers, you know. So perhaps selfish on my end to be imposing this opinion, but I do not think it was a wrong idea, but at the same time I do not believe there is right and wrong. It is just a choice that pushed time forward. And that's not really helpful, I know. It's it's how I see things. I appreciate it. I just, I don't know. As I recall it, the choice that you made was because, at least in part, you weren't willing to break faith with me. And... Well, it's true that it seemed to upset them quite a bit. I don't know if that would have affected my standing. I mean, that makes me as much to blame for how things ended there as, as you, oh, if no, not more. Not it. No, I mean, my decision was my decision. Very much I'm so. just... I don't know. I don't know if I can go back. I don't know if I can heal my mother. Uh... I don't know if I can help those slaves. I could have helped them too. If you dwell on all the what ifs in the world, you will never go anywhere. Yes, this is true. It sucks to say, but that is uh, the honest truth from where I stand, at least. You can say, uh, what if I did this? What if I did this? Well, the fact of the matter is you have done something, and that is the way the life is now. We cannot always go back that long ago. I mean, that's... That's... 
kind of ironic coming from you, but it is a positive throw. There are many things that I cannot change. I've made many decisions that mm, probably weren't the best, but had good intentions at least, in my opinion, but uh, oh well, it has happened, it is done. We move on. But uh, you have a place in this world, whether you realize it or not. You have Archie. You still have a mother. Even if you are unsatisfied with how it is right now. I um, feel unsatisfied is maybe a bit of a self sabotage way of putting it, but... Yeah, I can see why. Sorry. My words are very blunt. If it does not help, I am sorry. Um, but... You are my friend. And Riz kind of pauses for a moment and then nods to themselves. So I will try to help you. Thank you. You're welcome. I make no promises because promises are stupid. Uh, they, they are so easily broken. I would rather say I will try to do a thing. You know, absolutes are bullshit. Well, sometimes it's the point of a promise is just trying to do it even if you can't. Then I would be breaking a lot of promises. Well, <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to make a promise to help you with your memories, because I feel like you've been a really good friend to me. You feel guilt from Riz. Thank you, oh, since Curla feels that too, Curla's gonna yeah. kind of shoot a quick glance at Riz and then turn back to Levert. Oh, well, uh, yeah, I guess that's the story. I, will, I, I don't know if I missed any details. I could have tell you to uh, ask Vera or Petra, but I don't know that he's also one of the detailed <laughs> oriented types. Also, uh, what did uh, everyone else feel when Curla looked at Riz? Yeah, what was the emotion that Curla had? I'm not sure, and so neither is Curla. I love my magical no secrets device. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, but Riz overall has been very flatline. If not I feel like there was... thoughtful, Sorry. but I don't know yeah. if that's an emotion. <laughs> There is so much confusion going on with how Curla's feeling that I think any that may have led to that sidelong glance was uh, probably lost in that. But when they turn back to Levette, they're, uh, they're feeling, they're emanating sort of resolve. You and I haven't always seen eye to eye on some of the decisions that either of us have made, but I know that you've tried to do good, even if that's backfired at times and the same can be said of, I think, all of us. If I can help you in some way, I, I will. If it's within my power to help you, I will try. Okay. You take that for what it's worth to you. Riz is over here like, I just said that. <laughs> right, well, you are speaking for yourself. I'm speaking for myself. They didn't say that. They're just making a face of like, nope. what? <laughs> would they have got a bot? Would they have... I don't know what emotion is. Uh, is what? <laughs> is what? Confusion. confusion. Confusion, I guess, yeah. Riz attack themselves in their confusion. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> Hit myself? Hit myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, that means a lot to me as well. And I mean, maybe you can maybe you see why. I made some of the stupid decisions I made a little better. I certainly Thanks. don't claim they are any less stupid. <laughs> but you know, maybe you, you can you can find out it. You so. are all right. Rizzle kind of, they'll kneel down so they're at your eye level and they'll 
remove your hat for a moment and just pat your hair and then put it back. Kind of adjust it slightly to make sure it's straight. You are all is right. The link, is the link still active? I mean, sure. I, I, the it spell doesn't cool. exactly work this way, but you, you can end it whenever you like. Like, it's, the way it works is I can end it whenever I like, but I'll end it whenever you your character takes it off. Okay. Uh, in that case, you're going to feel a spike of jealousy when Riz does that. And then Carol is going to reach back and just casually, as casually as they can, tug the thing from the back of their neck. <laughs> awesome. My little Kurt, girl, I mean, Kurt you don't have to stay there. in my box if you don't need to. Oh, well, I please. figured we were more or less done. Yeah, Was yeah. there more that you needed to say? No, I mean, I didn't need to say any of that. I just felt like you probably should know. Because, you know, we've been traveling together, and I, like I said, I've been doing a lot of weird, crazy, stupid things that. Oh, we all do stupid explain. things. Well, yeah, but you don't be building fake people. No, that I know about. I, you know what? That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I need to take this thing off. Oh, are we the- okay. Yeah. Here you go! Thank you. You're welcome, you could probably reuse the parts. I'll play. Yeah, they'd be good tomorrow. He's got to disinfect them. <laughs> yeah, just like wiping them with a cloth. Just it. <laughs> That's Is there anything well, okay. that you want to ask either of us? You know, turnabout oh, yeah. seems like fair play. Damn, I should have kept it on for yeah, you. Now that we don't have the, the emotion link. Hmm. I can lie. I mean, uh, you've been both pretty free forward with me. I don't think there's a whole lot I could ask. I got to meet both of your parents, Kyla. Hmm. They seem like relatively nice people. <laughs> right. I'm glad that was the impression that you got. Look, I mean, we, we've encountered some messed up parents. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I think you, you could do else. Right. Pro probably good that you don't have the emotional link. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While you two are talking, Riz is actually going to just be looking around at the clockwork room itself. And I mean, I don't really know. I mean, the please doesn't have any answers to give me, so there's nothing to ask. But... I mean, I can still tell you all the things that I do remember of the past 200 years that I have. Well, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you'll be willing to tell me that whether or not I stick a thing on your neck. Correct. I am open for yeah. I think it would be stupid for me to just hide information like that. I would only do that if I uh, didn't care about someone, I guess. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I would probably hide it. Should I keep these things on? I feel like a, so I feel really now, confused. Well, I mean, well, go on. I could, I could charge another, give him another charge. We're going to sleep soon. If that is what you would like, do you mind if I scry in this room? Um, uh, can... un unless it's a specific time that it needs to go. I just didn't know if you wanted more company. Oh, sure. I don't know if it will work here. I'm going to stay here to scry then. After you're done. Oh, okay. After we have done, done what? Oh, any less the conversation questions or anything. Oh, you sure. Can... I'm sh I don't know if scrying will work here, but we can try it. Scrying can work in my Varda. I... That's true, and I did use your Varda as a, a little of my base as far as the construction meal. Oh. Which thank you, by the way. You're uh, thanking I got me? A lot of, well, yeah, you, you gave me a lot of good ideas. I got a lot of interesting notes about folding space. It is quite fun. Yeah, it's, it's, once you get into it. The I wonder what your horse would make fun. of this room. The horse is on the outside. The horse would not fit through my doors. That makes I mean, no sense. 
talking in terms of, you know, strange things going on with space and time. Never mind. Oh, well, I can actually bring people in with uh, that's a mess out these young. You I don't want the a horse in an office, trust me. Yeah, I don't think the horse would have an opinion. It's your house. <laughs> no, it isn't, Levette, but that's another story. Is your house is in your house? What is it then? Trust me, it's a horse. Is it like a really big pony? Ew. I hate that. Yeah, what? <laughs> Wait, what is, is it? A giant rodent is a terrifying thought. No, a pony is a rodent? Oh, I thought you said rabbit. I'm sorry. A bunny. Oh, I thought no. you said bunny. No, no, bunny. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or like, maybe a unicorn that got into a helm accident. Unicorns are pretty cool, but my horse is a horse. Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, your demiplane shudders and creaks as if some <laughs> outside force is pressing on it. You're not oh sure boy, what that's that was. Really <laughs> you have the feeling that maybe your demiplane might collapse if, after a few more blows like that. <laughs> <laughs> is that... That isn't meant to happen, I, I take it. Nope, that's not meant to happen. We might need to get out. Right. <laughs> if today is my death day... Oh well. Oh, it might... If it, if it collapses, you, you probably won't die. You will just be two-dimensional. That sounds that's a lot so exciting. like... Death oh, it's pretty boring. But no, it's not. You'd be alive. You can perceive it. Would I want to be alive? As long as there is a line, you should be able to wrinkle it so you can move on to the next dimension, which would be fine. Who are you, Madeline Langle? Who? Who? The... You're the one who fucking said it! What? I said what? It's just... I swear, it's it creeps again. <laughs> I I'm, didn't do that one. I'm leaving. I'm done with these. All right. Yeah, Carla will step out as well. Okay, I'm going to make sure I can fix this. See if I can fix it from the inside. Oh, right. please end before you go. Yes, of course. Uh, so Rizzle kind of like hold back before they fully step out. What's you up? You were talking about permanency runes to make magical effects permanent. Yes. How can I help uh, you? Yeah, this place I'm looking to make permanent. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk to you about it later. I have the finances worked out. I have enough money. Should be about 20,000. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, yeah, I will, um... I'll have that ready for tomorrow night. I suppose. I mean, it only... It needs to be within the next 16 days. That's how long you can sustain for now. Oh, well, I So mean... maybe, maybe hang off until we're not going in to Lega Lich's lair. <laughs> um, you, you tell me when you want it, okay? Okay, once we're back on the road, unless we're not back on the road in 16 days. Yeah, we're not gonna die, just so you know. They wink at you. Now I'm glad the emotional thing was off, because she wasn't even thinking about that until you had said so. Yeah, we had a conversation Wait, about death die? during the uh, I mean, that's true. Coliseum, so Riz is more playing off of that. <laughs> We're a little awkward, it's fine. We're all a little awkward. Extremely. Uh, Levette? Yes? Do you trust me? Yeah. Okay. So it trust you to do what? No, just in general. There's nothing in general. I don't think that's how that works. Okay. I feel like that's healthy. Yeah, I... I, thank you. You're welcome. Anyways, I'm gonna go scry, see if I can find that book, what it's doing. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, worst case, worst, they know we're coming. But I think they already do, do so. Oh, yeah. well. I mean, he did kind of tell us that. He did. Yeah. I think it's way to say it too soon. Have a good night, Lovett. Things will be yeah. okay. Even when they're not okay. I, I, okay. I think that makes sense. <laughs> eh, 
If not, T tends to call me down. Not that I feel a lot in general, though. Which... Yeah, I noticed that. Sorry. Why? I assumed it would make people uncomfortable. No, I mean, Alci doesn't feel a lot. He's a good boy. Yeah. He has big feelings, but they talk all the time and they're not what to have, I think. I think that's okay. I appreciate that perspective. It is good... It is refreshing. Well, thanks, I guess. Thank you. Good night. Good night, Lisa. The friends will go to their bed. The little basin of water. Vera is probably like, kind of, practicing with the scythe, in like different movements while talking to Petravian. So it's mm -hmm. probably going to be a lot like, the Deadland. So you might have to do a lot. Well, you're always doing the heavy hitting, but skeletons, you know, blades don't mm -hmm. work as well on them. True, but I mean, I could also smite them. I only give. I can only do that a couple of times. Yeah, but. Big hammer, smash, bone. It, it's worked pretty much the entire time we've been in the Deadlands. And can I only assume it will do so now? Because there's only so much that my swarms can do to a skeleton if we see any. I mean, I'm concerned about what we might be going against. We well, you saw what they what you saw what they can do, or at least what that book showed us. So I mean. Grain of salt and everything. Which well, is like... Mean, we don't really have much more of a choice, do we? I mean, we do, but it's not a... It, it's not a choice. So what I said. Hmm. Yes. I mean... Since, I mean, for a long time, since, like, Glarv, I'm genuinely concerned about what we're about to go against. I mean, we're walking into a... I mean, not a, a lich? Would that be a lich? Are they a lich? I don't know what Marcus is. All, all I've heard is that he is a corpse at the moment. If, if he was a lich, wouldn't he have been alive this whole time? But aren't liches corpses? Technically. Undead corpses? A bit a bit different. But it'd be moving. You know? I, I animated. Unless they have like some kind of special box for him. Hmm. But there's that, a lot of There's a know. lot of unknowns going into this and I don't like it. I mean I guess we could always check with Karis or something, have someone message her. She knows more about that kind of stuff. All I know is that liches are, like, dead wizard things and something about, like, some kind of bottle or something that they go back to. I don't... I don't fuck... Is that a genie? No, that's a genie. <sighs> they go back somewhere. All right? That's all I know. No, do, they, do they go inside, like, a box? You said they box. They go in, like, a sarcophagus, right? That's a vampire. Oh. Or a mummy? Mummy? You should talk to Karis about that. We should talk to Karis about this. <laughs> Let me just repeat everything that Vera says. <laughs> but either way. And Petra will, Petra will lean back in the chair, very pensive. You think that that Marcus, they knew what they were doing, right? They knew they were... They looked like they loved what they were doing. Oh, definitely. Definitely did most of what he did apparently in Malice, I'd assume. But was he doing it in the name of the Protean Empire, or was he doing it for himself? Well, or was he we... doing it because he thought it right? He probably did it because it served him the best. Didn't he take all the souls and it went to him? That wasn't going to Prota. Maybe that's the ruse he went with, but I'm sure that it was all a power play on his own behalf.
It just but I guess it doesn't really matter. Concerns me. What, well, when somebody thinks that they know what they're doing is absolutely right. Well, I mean, what if it is right? What do you mean? Well, I mean, <laughs> if someone's doing something good and they're very sure about it, isn't that still good? Like, sure, if someone's doing something bad and they think it's right, then sure, I guess that's bad, but that they're doing something bad. Well, the problem is you could get blinded by your own idea of what's right, right? I guess. You could be so tunnel visioned to what your ideal is that you don't recognize what your choices are might be hurting, might be detrimental. Vera kind of recluses herself a bit. I guess so. Sometimes you need guidance or somebody you can confide in to make sure that you're not not making the bad choices but not making the bad choices for good reasons yeah that's where true family comes in and I'm sure that Marcus didn't have that hmm I want you to know that if you ever I know you make a lot of split decisions and that you have to please please come to me did you think I did something wrong no no I just You shoulder a very heavy burden guiding the hive. And you make a lot of decisions by yourself. I just want you to know that I'm here if you need to have counsel. I don't just want I don't want to be the one making all the decisions all the time. Maybe it'd be better if other people made more decisions. And Vera, once again, seems to be reclusing more. Man, you guys could use some feeling clamps. <laughs> <laughs> Give them the clamps! Come on, Vera. You don't you don't need my permission to voice your opinion. I'll listen to your your family, brother. Right. Just because I have this scythe doesn't mean anything. Well, what is this about? Because it I was sure thinking doesn't about, seem to be about Marcus. I was thinking about when I met in the garden and the whole moving of the figurative hive into the into the into the new apiary and how that hive when it was raw and beautiful could potentially be for lack of a better word dangerous when with I know you don't want 
this mantle of authority, but you have this mantle of authority, and I trust you implicitly. But sometimes you can get blinded by what you think is right. Then and maybe it you has been right. And it has been right. Then it talk. has been right. Screw up here, I won't be a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say everything I can do is right. I can only do what I can think is right. Or at least just try. I want us to be greater, as great as all of the other faiths and everything else. I want us to be this beacon of what everything should be. That's what we're trying to do already. So when you make decisions, like, I mean, you kind of just made the split decision to just go grab the standard and come back with it, which is what I would have done too. I just, you don't, obviously don't have to confer with me, but God, but, but for, for Maleficent's sake, just please, just don't just do. I used to do that. that and I'm trying did, not to do that shit anymore. We had to get the information. That but it might have screwed us a little bit. Or it may have, may have given us a path to actually go on. Maybe now we can end this finally. I hope you're right. I hope and I believe you're right. Do you? I hope you're right, but I feel like we might have just given them what they exactly what he's been he's been wanting for obviously a long time. I mean, he was chained up book inside of a extra planar library, and that was. That one standard was allow allowed him to fucking break out of his chains and go run off to his master again. Do you think I knew that that was Marcus's book? Like, and he would go, like, right back to him? I just thought it was some no, random I'm... book that knew about it. The only other book that's been talking, that ever talked to us, was book. And at least we knew that that one was okay. This one... Can we make a, can we make a, just a general general idea? Don't give any any inanimate object what it asks for. Just when they ask for it, please. Yeah, fine. Is Archie an inanimate object? <laughs> yeah. Technically, no. No, Archie but I mean, technically, animated. the book is animated as well. So yeah. they're they're both animated objects. Is there anything else? Anything else I fucked up that you want to kind of just tell me what to do? Yeah, you fucking put too much honey in your tea. It's like, hmm. shakes her head. Wow. <laughs> Riz is over here prepping a scry spell. Like, Yeah, Curla, when they came out of the room, sort of lingered by the tea and then went and flopped on the other couch by the sofa. And they're now going to put their head up since they've been kind of hearing all of this from all of five feet away. I mean, I imagine part of this was taking place while y'all were That's in the true. plane. All right, so fair enough. How hour. much of it? It probably most of it. Let's be honest. Right. Then let's. Yeah, let's we were we were probably. I, um, I was joking. But the, and we probably ah, okay. bickered back and forth, um, mm -hmm. d like off and on. 
<laughs> while you're in this there. This conversation's pretty short in comparison. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. It's, it seems we'll say, pretty over. Right yeah. about this point is okay. when Curla and Riz and Levette will pop back in. We'll so up. that'll join our timelines back up here. At, at which point you'll see Vera slightly long striding towards their room, looking slightly upset. Good night, Vera. Did something hit? Just go cloister into your room. Why are you yelling at Vera? What's going on? You know Wait, she's like terrifying, right? right? Do you need some feeling cramps? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, they Where were they really go? helpful for us. Uh... They, really, they, they take a minute to get used to, but they're really useful. Yeah, yeah, I mean, a little hard to put on yourself. I'd say that's the only, like, con. Otherwise, Lebet, yeah. I, 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 want, I want you to think about the question that you just asked me. In what, in the past six years of knowing myself, and knowing Vera. Now you know me. I'll I'll try anything. Yeah, I when think would you'd Vera like to I willingly mean. share their emotions? Well, I was asking you. I will happily share my emotions. I'm pissed. Yeah, we kind Why? of got that. Yeah. Do you want to talk about it? I mean, You're no, so trying to unwrap the. I'm trying to unwrap the enigma that is Vera. I don't I'm think trying that's to, possible. No, well, especially when they have this whole mysterious backstory. They have a scar <laughs> on their backstory? shoulder. They have. They have this whole. They have this whole. Oh, it's cow. What? They have this whole. We, we saw... Thing about the about this. Uh, they come from. The, the he's starting to pet, and I'm starting to mutter and mutter and mutter. Uh, Mentioning the uh, the five families. Right, is there um, wanting us to actually know any of this? Or we did in uh, fact see Vera's naked body when you were Vera, though. Levette, I don't know if you remember that. It was out here. He just kind of walked out, and you know there was the scar. So I didn't know that was real. I thought that there was a. Like... Well, it was the same symbol that Petravian drew on the table while we were in the the forest and Kodre. Holy crap! Your light. Right, right. So I'm thinking that's the same thing. It's probably where you saw it. Little concerning that that's where you saw it, but you know I'm not gonna talk too much about it. Why, 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 why do you not see when did you see that? When did I see? No, Vera's... Fabian. Yeah, when did you first see Vera's naked body? Ah, uh, um... yeah. Hmm. So you remember we were at that tavern, and it, We've been it was Hummel that was in the body, and um, they they were fumigating and everything, and I I was concerned for them because I saw the smoke are, coming out of the door, and I bashed big. the door in. I see the, the 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 silhouette and everything. I tried not to look, but the, the scar, the uh, Petravian is well. I guess now what would he blush? What um, I thought, I thought you said you were the stalker. <laughs> but I didn't. I said that they couldn't explain that. <laughs> Used to be. <laughs> they just said that. They were all being mean. R oh, Rizzle, yeah. just pat your shoulder. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, but Ravian, I don't know which tavern you're talking about. We've been all over this world. Well, a portion of it at least, but a lot of places. A tavern doesn't really describe why you would have seen Vera's naked body unless you're having relations. No, this was back when Hummel was inhabiting oh, time-sharing the, their, their, their body. What's a time-share? Um, <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird thing somebody tried to sell me on. It's a bunch yeah. of bullshit if you ask me. It's a, it's a big, very popular in the Steam Wait a minute. They yeah, it's a scam. A lot of, yeah, they sell a lot of... They, they tell us they sell a lot of lands in the Unknown Forest. There's a lot of time-shares there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Families. They try. You know how they get you? They get. They say, "Oh, come and get. Come, you get to have this free vacation, but you gotta come to a seminar." No. Oh, there's bullshit. no seminars. They sell them the land, and I never saw anyone actually go to eat. They just <laughs> don't affect. Don't the fact they have you. I think they I, are I, missing I, the point that Petravian has seen very naked still. Yeah, I, that that is something to come back to. I'm kind of confused. Are you, are you saying that when Hummel was inhabiting Vera's body, you were also? Inhabiting Vera's <laughs> body. No! 
Why'd you say it that way? I mean, I'm trying to be delicate. Because no, it's no, not a nice No, no, I meant His no doesn't like sounds sincere. Well, he, no as in a kind of like Petravian would never... Uh, because... Now just play your character. Okay. He wouldn't... Uh, no! I would never... Uh, it's consent is important, damn it. Yes, yes it is. Yeah, but no one said anything about lack of consent. Okay, now, now that you plot that up, I'm worried. Yeah, what the fuck does I, that mean? I was just asking if you were dating Vera. God damn. No, I'm dating Hummel. <laughs> Are you? The bee? How does that even work? Is that why I made the tiny hat? <sighs> Don't worry. I don't One, knew yes, that, that is how gave you him made that hat. Because I wanted to still communicate with him at some point. How do you inhabit the bee? <laughs> oh my lord. I am not pollinating with a bee. Pollinating. <laughs> not without attitude. At that point, it's more of a emo emotional, social kind of thing. All like right. to talk to people. So you're just attracted to Vera. You're not actually dating Vera. Got it. Wait, you're attracted to Vera? Oops. Wait, what? Wait. Um, so, if you recall, Petravian, when he was blushing, when he was blue, it was that, uh, purple. Um... His skin is still things? gray. Yeah, his skin yeah. is a different color. It's I don't blue. blush different because I'm a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's gotta be a quote. <laughs> we need to start a quote thing. We used oh, to. Oh, God, that's funny. Um... No, it's... My... Th 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 this is all kind of superficial bullshit. What I'm trying to say is that... Th there's a lot about Vera that I want to know. And there's only a little bit that I, need, that I can go on. Sounds well, like I... there's a lot you want to know. Maybe more than the rest of us. Sounds this, like you want I mean, to know more was... than they're willing to share. So why do you feel entitled to know? Does she know that you want, like... I'm I'm not going to try and put that in any more world. Does she know? Oh boy, this is taking a long time to answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a yes or no answer. Yeah, it's pretty binary and I'm getting well at the longer it takes. I showed them the, I showed them the symbol. I asked them about the symbol. They told me not to look up the symbol. What is the symbol? <laughs> Oh, what I was talking on their about back. that. Oh, I was talking about. We were talking about like your feelings. Bobby. Oh, oh no, 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 no! That is a conversation that we have not had. No. And just no. point of clarification: no. Vera is in their room currently, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We. We. Hi there. Look at that. Isn't modern technology wonderful? As we're just <laughs> hounding <laughs> Petravia. <laughs> Okay, you're a little okay. ganged up on here. Well, I mean, that's what happened when you're in group, yes? <laughs> a group session. Well, I mean, none of us are hugging the rather little hornet's nest that you are messing with. You have seen Ooh, the yeah. size of their scythe, right? I've seen bigger. <laughs> Is everyone all right out there? Yeah, we're oh. just oh, teasing Petravian. Yeah, he doesn't have long to live. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You are. I'm fine, buddy. I was oh, making no. a joke, Archibald. Oh, Petravian will be okay. I, I mean, I hope. <laughs> yeah, most likely, as far as I can foresee. We, we just have to take him to the farm where all the other Petravians go. And Marcus is there? <laughs> Marcus is fine, we just went to the farm, there. buddy. You can <sighs> run free and play with all the other lost souls. No, I am not entitled to this back to their history. So what was this about the Pinterest, the states? Yeah, you, what do you know? What is that? 
Oh, no, no. Uh, oh, okay. Carla's going to get up at this point and walk over to Vera's door, actually. Oh. Okay. Uh, and I guess knock. Oh, we all go dead silent. <laughs> what are they doing? What, what do you want? Can I have a private word with you? Sure. Uh, I may dead or yeah. yeah shush, so... shush, shush, shush. Just a second, Petravian. <laughs> are you listening? <laughs> I, I, Riz is actually, as soon as Curla's in that door, they're going to listen, but they're trying not to move yet until Curla's <laughs> not gonna seeing. Are run to the door? No. I'm not Curla running, but they're like sneaking up to like, <laughs> listen, because they're still aware of things that happen in the Vardo, but it's a little oh. easier to be right next to it to hear exactly what happens. <laughs> oh, Curla will step inside and close the door and, and not see Riz coming up. And I guess see Vera on their bed. Yeah, they're, they're sitting down uh, head against the scythe, just kind of like in a thinking position, you, uh... a sad thinking position. <laughs> oh no! I, I was going to ask if you were right, but from what little I heard at the end, there you chat with Travian, and well, you know, you sitting there looking as you do now. I'm guessing the answer is no. You're not all right. I'm fine. Yeah, you say that, but you're kind of spooning a scythe. Your point? Fair enough, that is normal for you, but I'm still, you know, worried about you. Listen, I don't know what else I can do other than what I think is right. Well, that's all anyone can do, isn't it? I don't know. I've made enough decisions that I thought were flawless, that were completely non-issues that turn into change everything that ruined everything and only later years later just finding out that it wasn't because of some fucking curse I don't even fucking know what is right and wrong half the time anymore sorry d dial it back curse it's some like werewolf curse I don't know we were fighting werewolves for a bit and then I just kept on thinking about things that I did. I had dreams. Just, they weren't good. <laughs> I'm still not clear on the time. When was this? Uh, this was about, what, maybe six, six years ago, maybe? You had dreams and that made you think that the decisions you'd made were bad? That. Look, yes. you don't have to tell me jack shit, but I'm here to listen and I'm not about to judge you. I've made my share of absolutely God's awful decisions, some quite recently. What are they talking about? Talking listen, about I, I told you about this before, but... I, you've, you've told me a little bit. I don't want to pry, but <laughs> there's you want to tell me more, I'm here. There's nothing more I can say. I said everything, but... Yeah, you said say, you made the decision and a lot of people died. Yeah. A town. Not, not like a lot of people. A town fucking died. A town died. I, what are they saying? A town died. I was... Shit. For 14 years, I knew that these people were fucking evil. And then all of a sudden, af after 14 years, this curse comes along, and all of a sudden, I... I just don't even fucking know. I I feel like half those people deserved everything they got, but it wasn't worth for all the people I could have saved. She's saying she could have saved people, but couldn't. That she killed people. Even, even when I got rid of the curse, it... Everything's just messed up. She might be a werewolf. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't know if Petrebi knows about or something. He knows that I made horrible decisions, I guess. Which I have. I'm not going to speak to what Petravian does or doesn't know. I think you know that he's been digging around because he cares about you, the big wanker. You 
you can't fault him for caring about you. He's just, I don't know. Carla's talking about Batarabia now. Everyone's doing the right things for the wrong reasons or the wrong things for the right reasons. It's hard to keep track of who knows what and why, and uh, it's a mess. We're all a mess, Vera. I just don't know if he should care about me. Vera's not sure if Batarabia should care. I mean, of course I should care. Oh, I can kind of hear them, please. I can't hear them while they're whispering. Well, then come under me. Come under me and stick your ear here. Okay, okay. I don't even know if I really deserve all of this. If I'm just going to make a perception check to um to see if they hear all of this whispering through the door. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. <laughs> <laughs> the the rooms are technically supposed to be soundproof. That's yeah. why a the lot only... of times, like characters can't hear things outside their room. Yeah, th this is basically just Riz being able to hear everything inside the, the pocket plane, and then just oh. relaying it in a funny way. <laughs> it's perfect. Theatrix. Yeah, it's Riz being theatrical. <laughs> well, Carla will take a step closer to Vera. Closer. I still can't hear them. But Why can't we hear them? It. I can hear a lot of things that happen in here, let's be honest. Um, oh. Can they hear us? No. Well, then why the fuck are we whispering? Because it's more fun this way. <laughs> God you damn it. <laughs> You're no God fun. damn it, Riz. Don't yell at me. I'll beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I. Batravian's right to say what he said. But. They're saying you're right, Batravian. I, I just don't know what I can do to improve that. I don't know. W what if I make the same decision and it turns out it was horrible? What if. How am I supposed to know when it can change on a whim, apparently? Look, the only one here who knows or seems to have some intuition about how things are going to turn out, or at least they think things are going to turn out, is Rez. We, we can't know. We, we have to operate with the information that we do have. We have to just make the best decisions we can in the moment, and maybe we'll come to regret them, and maybe we won't. I said as much to to Lavette earlier. If you're looking for absolution, I'm not the one who can offer it to you. It's if it's even a thing that exists. Very just shakes their head. I'll be okay. Right. Look, the the one thing that I can offer you is that we're all trying to do the right thing here, and partly it's because we all did maybe the wrong thing. We're, we're, we're trying to fix an issue and maybe we'll create more issues in trying to fix it, but we're still trying and that's worth something, right? I guess. I just... I don't even know if my siblings can forgive me for what I did. It goes far beyond that city. It's... I wronged my siblings in such a horrible way. And here I am leading them. Telling them what I think is right and a lot of them believe me. But I, why should they? I have no fucking clue. It's... You're still doing the best you can and you're still trying to do better than, you know, yesterday and the day before, right? I just want to be the best sister I can be to them. That's all I want. You know, when we first met, I thought that you were just another leader, that, you know, you were in it for the power, enjoying telling people what to do, or to satiate some bloodthirstiness in you, or... 
I had a lot of ideas about you. It took me a while to get rid of them, but you demonstrated to me that I had the wrong idea about you. I didn't want to believe that someone like you, you know, talking the talk about equality and everyone getting an even shot at life, I didn't want to believe that actually someone could what if I be doing that like for that? the right reasons, you know? But I've come to realize that you are. What if I wasn't like that? What if I was exactly that before the shit hit? Just went. I was going to say fan, but there is no fan. What is a fan? <laughs> I'm sure they have them in the Steam aisle. Hey, I was going to say. When everything fans blew exist. up in my face. Yeah, these fans. I can't say that's not what I was. That's not what you are now. I really it, am. It, like I said, if you want atonement, if you want me to say that, you know, all the good that you do now is better than all the wrong that you did before, I can't say that because I don't know if that's true or not. I'm, I'm not in a position to judge that. I don't want to be. It's all well above my pay grade. All I know is that you are trying to be better than you are. You're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to figure out what the right thing is when it's not easy to know what the right thing is. If that's not worth something, then what the fuck are we all doing? Baron nods, and you do see, uh, like, they don't full on smile, but they're, it becomes more flat. Like, you can tell that they seem to be more calmed by that uh, sentiment. That means a lot, Carlo. Love it. Come over here. And, you know, for what it's worth, in terms of people understanding what it is to fuck up and keep trying to do better and fuck up more, and yet still put one foot in front of the other, you're not going to find... Well, I mean, you'd have a job finding another group of fuck-ups who are going to understand it the way that we do. <laughs> Maybe. I appreciate you coming in here, Curla. Thank you. Well, I mean, I was gonna say earlier that I wanted to apologize to you and Petravian for throwing a, you know, a, what's that thing Lavette says? A spanner in the works? Whatever the fuck that means. You know, for putting my head in. I was trying to help, you know, because Petravian was confused about the gods and what's been going on with him, and I made things worse by trying to help. Carla doesn't know what the spanner is. About, about what? Oh, he's like a lynch. Well, with, you know, with, with him coming back from being dead and having changed and now not sure which deity, I stuck my nose in that. I said things I shouldn't have said, and I think that I, you know, fucked things up between you and him, made things tense for a little while there. At least that was my read on it. I mean, that was a mistake. I was trying to do the right thing, and I screwed up. I mean, just because he doesn't want to tell me that he isn't worshipping Eden anymore, that didn't, doesn't cause any problems for me, at least. I don't know if he is or not, that's the thing. I mean, it, oh. it's... And I shouldn't have said anything about it. Oh, so he's not. He's... That's okay. That's... That's fine. <sighs> and... Vera's going to just kind of lie back... onto the bed. It's far too fucking soft. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you tell Riz, they'd probably get rid of it and, you know, just give you the, the ground. You've, you've definitely got too many creature comforts in here, that's for sure. Well, I don't know. It instantly the, disappears. Make you the know, ground a little bit craggy, or maybe, you know, some spikes. Would that make you feel more comfy? I just roof. keep it in here because Hummel apparently liked it. That's it. Ah, uh, yeah. You and Hummel, that's a, that's a complicated situation. Not really. He just talks a lot. Well, now at least, especially. Rip. <laughs> Th there was a reason why I didn't have him talking. <laughs> I could have this whole time. I bet you're feeling great about Levesque's <laughs> inventions now, then. I mean, listen. It's wonderful for him to voice everything he wants to, to portray in, but he also has very, very long, boring stories 
about things that I really, really am uncomfortable talking about. Bear is uncomfortable about Hamel's stories. Wow, I want to heal Hamel's stories. Right? He, he literally will talk about any boy he sees. Anyone. <sighs> Hamel really likes boys. I think that was obvious, though. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of your family, how is your 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 sister? You know the the Would big one. No, with, well, but yeah, with one there's there's a lot. Your Melly. I Melly. She's doing well. Melifera. I I doubt that she would appreciate me calling her Melly. I think that's probably a thing between you and her. I would assume, right? Yeah, more so. But right. I mean, if you're closer, then that'd be fine. But I'm I'm going to assume that's a no. Malefera, how is Malefera? That's fantastic. Malefera's doing good. We've we've had a lot of increase in people worshiping her. She's stronger than she's been, which I'm thankful for. I'm glad that I've been able to at least repair what I did and more. And she seems happy. Seeing everyone around. It's nice to see her with the family again. Does she think that you're, you know, doing the best you can, doing the right thing? Of course. Melly's always. And you trust her, right? You, you trust her opinion on this? I always trust Melly, but I don't know if I'm worthy of that trust. That's all. You'll, you'll forgive me, but it doesn't sound like that's your decision to make. It sounds like it's hers. Well, like I said, she she trusts me, but that is she wrong, I guess, is my sentiment. And in the end, I just hope the siblings can forgive me for what I did. There are ser terrible self-confidence issues. <laughs> Have you ever asked for their forgiveness? It's not necessarily an easy thing to bring up. I, I don't say. dispute that. Be a, I get that. A little bit awkward coming in and just saying, Hey, so last time we did this, uh, everyone died. Uh, pretty meaningless. Uh, kind of stole all the power. They all got slaughtered. It doesn't seem to come off the tongue very well. So. Mellifera knows, I would assume, since you were acting in her name. I wasn't acting in her name. This was just what I thought was justice. And that's it. It wasn't Mellifera's fault, what happened. Better try to be a vigilante. Hey. Wasn't suggesting that it was, so she doesn't know. She knows. She. She knows what I do, but. Of course, she would forgive me, but. You have to understand, Melifer is also composed of, all of us. It's like, almost like a hive mind. They, they can kind of conglomerate, into her form as well. So. I can only hope that they also forgive me for what I did. I think Vera has a lot of emotional problems. Yeah, I think so. But like, not just anger, but like, really fucking depressed kind of shit. Yeah, I had a feeling. I, I can just, I'm just trying to do what's right. That's all you can do. Can we can we talk about something else? Like, literally anything. I, I would I would literally talk to Hummel right now. <laughs> I mean, I did want to show you something else if you are interested. Yeah, what, what you is it? You want to talk about boys? <laughs> it, uh, it, it might, well, you know, explain something. And Curla's going to reach into their, uh, their pouch and they're going to pull out the locket that their father gave them. And they're gonna 
open it and hold it in such a way that the side with them on it is obscured by their hand. <laughs> but the side with their sister on it is uh, is quite visible, and they're going to reach out, show it to Vera. What's this? Apparently my father, while he was, uh, well, let's say traveling, enslaved, <coughs> developed a bit of a, an art talent. That's, uh, well, I mean, I've met a few of your sisters. That one's mine. I'm sorry you had to lose her. I really am. Thank you. Do you, uh, does Vera take a look at it? Like, yes. Really look at it? Yeah, Vera, Vera looks at the locket. Okay. Um, what you're going to see is sort of the equivalent of a half or sort of a cute seven, eight year old girl, human. Mm -hmm. um, human? Greener skin. Come again, Kenny? Did you say equivalent human? Equivalent to seven or eight. No, a oh. eight. half orc girl, but equivalent to kind of seven or eight. Sorry, that sorry. kind of age okay, range. Gotcha. Um, greener skin than Curla had. Uh, kind of blue-green eyes, black hair, plaits down the side. Um, and obviously, she's a half orc, so she's got different ears and green skin. But there is kind of something in her face maybe it's kind of the glint of mischief or just sort of a joyful smile, but there's definitely something there that would make you think of Reduvi. Yeah. Just that, staring at the picture now. That maybe you <laughs> understand better a few of the uh, better and worse choices I made back in the day, if you if you saw that Carla's sister from the locket that their parents gave them oh the Bella ask about it no they just kind of brought it up oh why uh, why haven't you you're I'm sorry listen you've become far more powerful and in control of what you can do now why you could resurrect them. You could have your sister back. Why haven't you? Because I am afraid that my sister wouldn't forgive me. So I guess we have that in common. But wouldn't it be better if she was alive and didn't forgive you than never knowing and not letting her be here at least I'm not here to pry but I don't know there is suggesting to resurrect the sister if oh, I could I you. Right. if I could bring back everyone I lost that day I'd do it in a heartbeat there's too many though I, I couldn't do that with all the gold in the world and if they hated me if they kicked me out forever at least they'd still be there I'd make that trade I think maybe that's something else we have in common we both seem to think that we deserve to suffer maybe it helps, helps us remember Maybe it helps us be better. Yeah, maybe. Is she all right? Reduvi? And Curla will kind of close the locket and put it back. I promised myself that she would never have to go through what I did. That she would have a home that would always love her. And that promise I will keep no matter what. See, you say that, and yet you still worry whether or not you're a decent person. <laughs> Just 
one good thing in a sea of mistakes. But, like I said, I'm trying. Well, keep trying and maybe we'll get through this, eh? <laughs> I sure hope so. Or at least we can die and, you know, knowing that we were trying to do something right. That's not a bad way to go. I suppose. Anyway, I'll leave you be. I assume you'd prefer to be on your own right now. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Say hi to Miller for next time you have a chat. And Vera will uh, give you the uh, necklace back. No, really? uh, Curl already oh, tucked it in. Okay. Never mind. I grab it from Curl and <laughs> <laughs> I give it back. <laughs> As a Toss gesture of kindness. Door. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah, so look if you ever want to talk more and Curl is sort of at the door and rotating the handle. Like I said, maybe you don't feel ready to tell anyone else the hive. We're here too, you know. Very well nod before rolling off the bed onto the ground. <laughs> Curla will uh, will step out and softly close the door behind them. Blanket or no blanket? No blanket at the moment, but they would mm. probably take it off the bed. It always gets made the next time we're in here anyway, <laughs> so it's not a big deal. <laughs> the serving staff is great. <laughs> right. Hi, it's me. <laughs> I am serving staff. Pay's not very good, though. <laughs> right? Um, Riz has a basin on their lap. <laughs> Hi, Kodala. Oh, I, I, she thought. Oh, everything. But, I was just uh, showing Levette how I was about to scry is all. Right. Okay. Y yep. Mm -hmm. Sure, right. All right. Well. So, we just fill these with water then. Hmm. Very convincing. Good night. I wasn't suspicious. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> like I mean, you might have been, but like, I was fine. I'm just going to know this. So, so are oh. you scrying? I mean, I, I'm prepping to scry. Okay. In my defense, I probably would have acted that way if we weren't doing anything. I just flake out sometimes. <laughs> that is okay. As long Curl as you gonna... are you. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, that one's a part of me too. Curla will, uh, will step into their room after taking kind of a deep breath before opening the door. And my question for you, Kenny, is um, how does it look? Does it look Your the same as the last time Your room is slightly there? different. There are more colors. It is definitely more saturated. Interesting. It's more bright and playful than it was before, actually. Interesting. Curla will let out a sigh of something like relief and actually crack a small smile and collapse onto their bed. So Riz is pretty much prepping this scry bowl. Got water in it. Is getting ready to go. They're going to cast scrying, but they're going to up it uh, the DC save. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. that shit too low for me. Uh, you know what? I It's the last spell of the day. I'm just going to use the rest of my rune points. It's going to go up to 26. Okay. As the save. Fingers crossed. So I am trying to scry on that book. Because it has sentience. that coming from um is it possible to scry on this book <laughs> okay uh yeah you, you can definitely give it a shot okay mm -hmm. okay so riz kind of like puts their hand over the bowl uh since if levette's still here would you like me to describe what this looks like yeah go for it okay so they put their hand in the water for a moment, and when they take it out, it's kind of like little bubble particles are floating, and you see a kind of shell symbol. 
for a moment in there that slowly um, the the water's like kind of sticking to their hand, kind of like zero gravity looking. And it starts dripping, floating down around uh, this bowl where glyphs are starting to fall and like attach to the water droplets, kind of like how water droplets kind of stick together as soon as they touch. And in the bowl, they try to see what the fuck is up with this book. <laughs> All right, so the water is going to calm. The ripples are going to go away. And you peer into the water, and you suddenly see a reflection of another place. You can see stone hallways. You see stone floors, stone walls, stone ceilings. You see spider webs. You see dust in the air. You see a book eerily and ominously hovering its way through these hallways. And as it goes deeper into these twisting strange tunnels, the connection seems to get worse and worse. Until finally it passes through a strange passageway guarded by what look to be giant stone statues and the water returns to normal. It didn't work. What? There was there was just water. There was, there was no no pictures or anything. Well, I could see it. Um, you could see something in there. Yes, oh. I am so sorry, Lovetta. I've never I really didn't... gotten to use this stuff around people, so I don't actually know what people see because uh, I haven't cared enough to show people. But uh... well, I mean, the bubbles and the thing I saw, and then the water fell in the bowl, and you just. Still, it's a bowl. I thought you were all disappointed because it wasn't working. <laughs> no, I got it. Don't worry. Um. So, I don't know if it's because this place is really fucking old or if we're gonna have to deal with a specific elder being again, but uh, I really am not a fan of the spider webs I saw. The, the, the book is floating around these hallways in, in some place, some fortress of some kind uh, and it was fine watching it until it went past these two statues and then my connection was lost so I think there's some sort of uh, a preventative measures from scrying in, in whatever that book went to but it was just alone it wasn't with anyone what did the statues look like? what did the statues look like? they looked like Protean soldiers in full armor with, uh, like holding a tower shield, like planted in the ground in front of them. Rizzle, describe that for you. Okay. So, no better get our people. Mm -hmm. So, if anything, we can at least keep a lookout for that as we search for this, this thing. I mean, if it was in the cave house, whatever, it was the spite else, we can have to find that first. I'm not a fan. No, me neither. I mean, uh, I would rather be spiders and weevils, but uh, hopefully it's just it's just old, like you said. You've I'm spoken sure about these case. weavers before. Sounds terrifying. I hate the idea. Oh, they'll, yeah, they suck. They're the worst. Hmm. Hate them. Met them one time. Don't want to do it again. <laughs> well, let us plan for that then. To not meet uh, them again. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, so maybe plan for meeting them again, even though I don't want to, because not having a plan for it makes it well. But yeah. Okay. Well, that works just fine. Um, but that's all I can do for tonight, so I'll just uh, keep watch otherwise. It's good to be with horse again. Not that I miss them or anything, I just... Quite the house. It's a wacky horse. The horse is a horse. I don't know what Carla is fucking talking about. Don't touch it. Press X to doubt. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. can you can do the um. <laughs> what's the fucking sense motive? motive? You can sense motive me. It's fine. I'm not very good at it, so no. But I'll try. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was a nine. You think Riz might be lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Not that surprising. <laughs> I'll find out what the horse is one day. Yeah. Or oh, will we? Who will touch I mean, the horse? Who touches the horse first? Let's find out. <laughs> Tune in after these messages. <laughs> uh, so. Chia pets. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, oh, Chia. stay up tonight as as normal. Um, okay, I, I do need to sleep, so I will do so. But, of uh, course, that's why I do this, is so you all can rest easy. Well, appreciate it. I know it's natural, but still. I will uh, protect you as long as you call my home your home. Okay, I'll do the same for you. Cool. <laughs> this is dope. It's pretty fucking rad. <laughs> <laughs> she okay, okay. Yep. Well, Good night, Riz. Good night, Petravian. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Petravian, your room's different. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know how you've got a lot of greenery in your room and mm -hmm, stuff? Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. kind of looks like at the edge of like every leaf or bush or something. They're starting to die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> is, is this because Riz? <laughs> oh yeah, Wait. Riz. Why are the why are the leaves starting to die in here? What do you think, Petravian? Have you watered them? <laughs> <laughs> Shit! I forgot to water them again, didn't I? Uh, they don't need to be watered. This place is magical. Especially not the way that you water trees. It was we established earlier. <laughs> you can't hear us. <laughs> the walls are very thin. What? I I know that. <laughs> Why do you think, Petravian? Uh, his eyes kind of narrow into Riz and just. I get what you're saying. Do you? I. <clears throat> you know, you could just ask me. I don't. Why are they dying? Well, as far as I have learned, somebody isn't going to be worshipping Eden anymore, so I'm working on changing your room. I still worship Eden, and I still worship Melifera. <laughs> you should tell Vera that, because she does not think that. Yes. That is a conversation that I would like to have with them. Yeah, why didn't you do I... that earlier? The conversation got a little bit heated, and I didn't think it was a, a wise decision to talk to them at about that at that moment. Mm. But yes, if you would mind, I would love if to have your interpretation or your flair for Malefra in my room as well, please. <laughs> I don't do requests. There's an annoyed grunt. <laughs> I don't know, maybe a little apiary over there in the corner. Ugh. I give you permission to do this To change your house. <laughs> I don't know, you have, a, you have a phenomenal artistic flair. I mean, look at this place. It's beautiful. Suck my dick all you want, Petravian. I'm not doing it. Hurtful? I'm trying to be. I'm not even trying to be nice. I'm. Just, I'm genuinely impressed by all the. Yeah, it just kind of sounds like you're brown nosing, buddy. Is it brown nosing to give a compliment to things? No, well, it's like I, you I'm... just found that I was kind of irritated that with you, so you tried to like diffuse the situation with compliments. That's usually considered brown nosing. No, it's. Huh. Hmm. Huh. That's just my own personal defense mechanism, I guess. Well, I guess you I try to should diffuse. Uh, think about it. Hmm. Huh. 
Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I annoyed you. Yeah, lots of things annoy me. I know. <laughs> but I'd like to not be one of them. <laughs> oh, the craving. <laughs> Oh, Petravian. Um. Yes. I'm right here. I would like uh, some help with something, actually. Really? Yes. Um. You he kind of come over. spoke about the uh, Pentrist estate earlier. Yeah. I found out about that in the library. Yeah. That's a lot, isn't it? I mean, all I know have are names. I don't know what it is. Yeah, you kind of mumbled them as you did over there on on that couch. Um, that's that's fine. Names. Do you know where they're from? Uh, well, right where we were. Honestly, actually. We've been to a lot of places, honey. You gotta give me more than that. <sighs> I'm trying to remember. I... The player trying to remember what the area was. Do you did you get a location for it? Yeah, it was in the um. For some re for the the uh, th if I remember correctly, it was co in the Codre area. Or I might be mistaken. Just tell me what your character thinks. Oh, Beardy, did uh? I, did if I, I I'm trying to remember if if they did. I. I honestly don't recall if I gave us a specific location or not. I don't. Oh, okay. I, I don't know if I did. I may. I may have. Hmm. I mean, I'm. Does so, anyone else remember? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you did. I remember this. I, as I well. remember the area technically as a player. At least. Yeah, okay. yeah that's what I'm. All right. So. Yeah, in that I, case. Yeah. We've at least heard it in game. I just don't know who. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, I, yeah, essentially, it's it's in the border regions between. Uh, well, Kodre and Parthenay. I was right! Kind of. <laughs> Sorry. Ap apologies. So, Bur Burgos and Parthenay. Oh. I'm way off then. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's pretty close still. I mean, honestly, it's not that far off. Alright. So... Daughter in that area. Okay, okay. What do you think about once we're all done with, like, the sheet right here on... Pr Proto Oxidor? Are we in Proto right now? <laughs> Actually, I, I can't tell I mean, this shit. Protean Empire, so... Oh, we're still... Okay. <clears throat> um, hmm, How do you feel about taking a little field trip to that place after? I like field trips. Awesome. I'm really glad. This is going to be so fun. I hope so. It'll be great. Yeah, um... You're doing okay, Petra. You know that. I mean... Maybe not always the best steps, but you're trying. Thank you. I... It's really fucking fun to tease you. I'm an easy mark, aren't I? Yeah, but that kind of makes you more fun to keep around. I mean, thanks? <laughs> I For what it's worth. I mean... Vera and Lovett were very distraught after you had passed on. Really? Yeah, I mean... I have a hard time feeling about such things because... I just stop bad things from happening around me the best I can, so I don't really worry about outcomes as much as other people, but they weren't okay. Vera hugged me. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot right there. Right? <sighs> Petravian glances over at the door I trust them implicitly why I just 
They haven't led me astray. They've done everything they can to, well, I mean, keep me alive. And... Do you trust me implicitly? Of course. I mean, you haven't shown you shouldn't. me any... You shouldn't? No. Why? I mean, think about it this way. Maybe one day you do something that, uh, I don't know, threaten my god or something. This is a hypothetical, so don't take this super seriously, but, you know. <laughs> if you did something like that, I would kill you. <laughs> I mean, I know you have the ability, and I don't, and I know you probably would, wouldn't hesitate to do that. Mm -hmm. But which god? You have so many. Yes. <laughs> What, what's one or two missing? <laughs> oh, any of them, Petravian. I mean, they are my I family. Mind. First and foremost, they are the people who are there for me when I started having memories. They have always been beside me. So why won't they help you right now? T why won't they help you find out what your curse is? They're helping me all the time. Do you see it all this magic? Me. And Rizzle throw glitter in the air as if that's supposed to mean something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, but wouldn't it be a little more, more helpful to tell you your exact issues? Hmm. Perhaps, but what if it hurt them? If they told me. I wouldn't want that. Hell, I feel bad that Cloak, after I asked a simple question, got a bad taste in their mouth because of me. Ooh. So I gave him a freebie about you liking Vera. <laughs> it's fine. It's not a secret anymore. <laughs> I, that's gonna come back and bite me in the ass, but I think that mm. that is a problem for future Petra. Right? <laughs> yeah. But no, I I don't blame any of them. I don't even blame uh, I don't blame, don't blame any who? of them. <laughs> Wait. You kind of trailed off of there. Um, it's like on the tip of my tongue. I just can't. It was right there. Oh. Sorry. I wish you would let me at one point try again to break, cast breaking my breaking curse. <laughs> I know you've done it. I know you've done it, but I'd like to try too. But Ravian, give me your hands. Come on. There you go. Listen. I want you to know that if you try that, you might be cursed. I mean, okay. I've already had two curses. And as much as I am less caring about you getting this curse, I guess I care enough to warn you. And so, I care enough to try. But, again, I would never do it unless you ask me. I guess I don't give a shit, really. I guess I kind of do. It's tough. I do and I don't. I'd say, uh, do it at your own risk. Reese's and PCs, though. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Re <laughs> Risen and Pizzen. <laughs> Risen and Pizzen. I feel confident that I could at least try and not oh. die from it. Oh, I don't think you would die. Sweet, sweet, sweet child. Um. November is your birthday, right? 
Yes. Yeah. Sweet fall child. Uh, I don't think you would die from this. That's not the issue. I believe you would be cursed. Cursed to what? Well, maybe you'd lose your memory. Maybe you'd be cursed to travel everywhere like me. Maybe worse. You never know. So it is at your own risk that I say this. If you care about Vera, I do not recommend that you do this. Think then about I will that. heed your advice. I will heed your advice then. All right. I care about them too much. I know. I mean, to be fair, you wouldn't if you lost your memory. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Problem solved. Yeah, it solves itself. Hmm. So. Do you have any Let's questions go. for me? Hmm. Anything at so. all? Well, I will answer it 100% honestly. As long as I can remember it. <laughs> What's that? As long as I can remember it. How many licks does it take? <laughs> Do you know anything about the, uh, the, the family that I mentioned earlier? Have you heard about Boy. anything about them? <laughs> boy <laughs> so we've been traveling for a couple months here and there together maybe more several technically yes mm -hmm. yeah so the first time I came to this world uh, was like a week before I met you all right why would you think I would know this because your knowledge checks are so good ugh I, mm -hmm. Look, I will think into the far distance of the wonders of the world. Beardy, what check would I have to do to, like, have an inkling of what the Pinterest estates are? <laughs> the Pinterest well, <laughs> The Pinterest estates. I hear they so put works. a lot of boards up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well... Uh, if you want to learn more about them, uh, that would typically be like a knowledge and ability role. Like that. <laughs> okay. Cool. I will try my best. Go on, Nat 20. Give it to me. 28? It's a very good roll for you, too. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so, so you said Petra recited one of the names of these. He, he said all of the names when he was like angrily muttering. He just can't Screw, he can't remember them off the top of his head mm -hmm. currently. That's fair. Sorry. Um, uh, didn't Beardy send you a thing? Like, in Discord or something? I thought. It's or or just write them down, I don't know. It was probably a while ago. So, the the names of the families, um, some of them are familiar to you. Yeah, you've heard you've heard some of them. Some of them are apparently, like, artisans and, and scholars and people that make magic items. Like I don't know. They so seem like... Are, Artsy bitches, mm -hmm. <laughs> like uh, enchanters or painters or sculptors. Doesn't seem like too dangerous. <laughs> I wonder why they ever wanted to hide it so much. Yeah. Yeah. We should check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you enough for caring. Of course. Probably head to bed and get ready for going into the blight. Good night, Petravian. Sweet night. dreams. One can only hope. True. 
Alright, Travian, as you go into your room, you tuck in for the night. Riz, is there anything that you want to do? I'm going to watch you... my horse again, as I right. do most nights. Your horse is going to stomp a hoof once. Sort of look around a little bit. And then go back to staring at nothing in particular. Mm. And tomorrow, you get to think about what's going to happen within the blight. So that will be after this short break. Hello, everyone. We're back. It's good to see you guys again. Yeah. All right. So we had just left off with everyone tucking in for the night of August 12th. So feel free to submit your rests, and we'll go ahead and push to the next morning. You got a DM daddy. So it is now the morning of August 13th, and party is able to do what you would like. Where to? Um, so, do we want to uh, head out, I guess? And it's a, start into the blight? It's a very well exit her room. We're like, I mean, we have to do it as soon as possible. Who knows if He's going to leave once the book finds him, or he already is there. So I say we go straight into it until we can find anything. All right. Lovett will be using your eyes to uh, find a structure of some sort. Is that okay? My eyes? You're the one who said you had the telescope and Oh, wings. yes, my telescope. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> you're, I wear glasses you, now. My eyes are You're the one bad. who was like, I will do this. So, you know. Oh, uh, yes, yes. I am willing to look out. I thought you meant, like, I had good eyes because I do not. That's true. Objectively. Mm -hmm. I can wow. probably do something about that. I have offered in the past, but if you would want me to take a look, I can try. I didn't know we'd have no need for these magical glasses. <laughs> it's my aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> But they're cool. I, I yeah, we always said that. The best guess I have is that this thing is going to be in the center of this entire region because if it's all coming from one location, it's probably going to be basically going out from equal portions. So it should be the center. Stands to reason. Hmm? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I was waiting mm -hmm. for that. Oh. All right, let's go. Hey, Vera, you got any more uh, diamond dust on you? <laughs> Rip. Sighs, looks into her pouch. You're so poor now. I am very poor. I, I oh. did pay you for the last lot, and, you know, I'd pay you for this lot, and it is, you know, so I have something to amplify my... the tricks I got up my sleeve for dealing with the no, undead. No, it's fine, it's fine. Um, all right, what we got you know, here? To keep us all alive and from becoming undead ourselves, but... Mm-hmm. Vera, Vera looks at his pouch. How much do you need? I mean, what have you got? And Vera pulls out a pouch. How how big uh, of a pouch do you think 500 gold pieces of diamond dust would be? Not very big. It's a tiny little itty bitty pouch. It's a pretty small pouch. It fits in the palm of your hand. So that's, what, about 500 gold pieces worth? Almost to the coin. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wow, that's don't know really where I pulled that, that number out of. You should. You you could probably become an accountant. I, I'm not you sure that I can that imagine a worse fate. It's I mean, like like between becoming an accountant, if I if that is what I think it is, and like going into the blight multiple times over. I think I'd choose the blight, to be honest with you. Oh, you must not understand what it is then, because that's a, it's a big one now. Accounting it seems like a very easy thing to do. You just fucking count, right? That's in the world. It's, yeah, it's I, more I got complicated that, that. than that. Are you sure? Things are pretty easy for me normally. Listen, uh, well, I'll you give might you... make a good accountant as well. I'll give you half of it, right? 
that's actually not going to do me any good unless it's the whole amount, but... It's fine, no, keep it. If you need it for something, if you need it for a reagent or whatever, just keep it, or better that you have it. Well, what do you need it for? It, uh, it, it, as it, I say, it. amplifying. I've, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve, I think, and my sense is that I need a little bit of diamond dust, diamond powder, to juice them up a bit. But... What do you need to keep to get people back from being dead? Well, full diamonds, but I got a couple of those on me. You do? Okay, as long as we got that cap out. I think that's mm, top priority. Mm. Give me something, Lavette. I am generally prepared for, you know, one of you dying. I'm, I mean, we, if we're short on supplies, it's not necessarily your fault. I mean, I, I think it's somebody else's turn. I've already died recently. I don't yeah, buy that it shit. It didn't cost us anything, so you that was a freebie. You can, uh, <laughs> you can die again. Didn't it cost Vera quite a lot? Oh, never mind. Yeah, what about that royal honey that she, like, oh, apparently used? That's a good point. Yeah, that's probably, like, not really expensive. Hmm. Yeah, in fact, you might go Val off as that. Yeah, I know. I owe them a lot already. And the beard point. things. Was it beard? The I've got 2,000 was... odd on me, so that'll that'll give me a little bit of juice for at least one or two uses of it. So keep it if you need it. Wait, you already have 2,000? Gold pieces worth, right. So about four times what you got there. I'm covering all my bases. I'm not, you know, hardening it because I like sparkly things. It's... Bear puts it back in her pouch. Bloody hellfire. <laughs> you get yeah, that I use it too. I was asking if you got it spare. If you need it for something, then no, you don't got it spare. No, Fine, this is, this keep is really it. all I have. This is all I have left. Then keep it for <laughs> whatever you need it for. Please. And thank you. Those are the magic words. Good job, you? Petravi. Oh. Now, if anyone else has something to do, which we're in the middle of nowhere, I think we should get going. Yeah. Doors Just one open. second. Oh yeah, we only got like a few minutes before these things oh, to kick us no, out. No, I've gotten stronger. We've got several hours. Oh wow. Okay. Great. Vera leaves. Bye. <laughs> Petravian, Petravian cast ma greater magic weapon on it on life charge. <sighs> All right, now we're ready for the day. There, uh, I mean, sorry. Riz has the door open and is just waiting for everyone to leave. All right. Oh, well, in that case, Geronimo. You all file out and get into your particular driving positions, and we are set here at the blight. So. You guys can make pretty decent progress. The, mm -hmm. the terrain is rocky, somewhat uneven, and you figure you can make about 40 miles a day uh, with traveling at normal speed. You're not entirely sure where you're going, but you know that where you're going is probably somewhere in the middle of all this mess. So, mm -hmm. yep, so we as you travel, go ahead. No, I was gonna say we're going straight. All right, so as you travel, I'm assuming you're gonna have uh, a lookout to see if they can spot anything in this thing, any sort of points of interest. Yeah, I believe that's, yes. that's yes. me. That, all right. I think we're all kind of watching the best we can too. Okay. Yeah. So what I'd a like to. Desolate place this is. Sorry. I'd like the lookout. Um, mm -hmm. Whoever's going to be like spending all their time and energy scanning the horizon, mm -hmm. to give me a perception check, and also whoever is driving. Which I'm assuming is going to be Vera. Yep. Uh, give me a survival check. You got it. Oh. Does having the telescope and flying provide any sort of benefit to my roll? Oof. Wow. No. That's a nat one. Oh no. All right. Which is twenty three. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, Vera's survival is amped. <laughs> Remember, there are no. There are no critical failures or successes in skill checks, so you're fine. Yeah. I so, just forget that they're, um, that they're survival I is so awesome. Got a 25, but I was wondering if there's anything that, if, there, if there's any bonus or anything from flying and having the telescope. Not terribly, no. Okay. Um, the telescope, well, maybe. I have to look it up, but it, it's fine. You You don't really find anything this day anyway, so for the course of August 13th, you all travel through the, the blight and you make about 40 miles of progress. 
Okay. So, you uh, you get to move a little bit further, and as you're traveling, is there anything you would like to do while moving through this place? Oh. It's it's very dry and rocky, and it's bumpy because of that. Yeah, and it's all all just rocks, and it's nothing nothing mm -hmm. like man-made or anything, right? No, you don't see any structures or buildings of any kind. There's no roads, and there's not even there's no life here really. Like animals have avoided this place, and plants mm -hmm. won't grow here. So it's just pretty much a, a rocky dust bowl. Okay. Um, and being lookout takes out that whole time more or less. I mean, if you're spending the whole day scanning the horizon, yeah. I, I okay. assume that and, you'd probably. Do you want to work on something else? I'd assume that you'd probably go up and down at certain intervals. Because otherwise mm -hmm. you'd just Maybe. be flying all day, which would be cool. Sure, yeah. but I wouldn't have time to work on anything. Work on, like, building anything. Would I? I mean, if you're going to be looking out, if you're going to be the lookout for the day, then no, you wouldn't have time no, to I also think, build yeah. stuff. So I think you... lookout's more important right now. Okay. All right, well, is there anything else you wanted to do, anyone else wanted to do during this day, or shall we just advance time? Uh, as we're traveling, I would assume Curla's still up front with Riz at the front of the Vardo. Yeah, they didn't say don't, so... At some point during the day, Curla will turn to Riz, and... Uh... Riz, you mind if I ask you something? Sure, what is up? Back in Proto, when I was uh, talking to Duro for the, the last time before he left. Mm -hmm. If things had gone a different way, would you have stopped me? Yes. Why? I feel like... It wouldn't have given you the satisfaction that you wanted. Even knowing how I feel about, you know, personal agency and choice and so far? We have differing opinions on that. I try my best to uh, follow your code, but I have my own boundaries. Thank you, Rez. Hmm. I have a lot on my mind, a lot to think about, but if I'm more quiet the next, you know, however long we're traveling, I'm not trying to push you away, all right? I'm just, I've got a lot to figure out. I understand. Take your time. Do you understand why I was as angry as I was? At your father or at me? I was more disappointed at you. Mm. But I was talking about my father there. I only know the information you have given me is that he assisted in kicking you out of your village. That's after not... the thing happened. Do, do you have in mind that like they voted me out or something? Because that's not exactly. No, how I have in down. mind that they ran you out. If not kicking or throwing rocks at you, probably trying to kill you. Why? Is it different? Is it worse? Yeah. A lot worse than that, Raz. Go on. I... There's a lot that I need to think about right now before I can talk about it, because a lot that I had assumed is maybe not how it actually was, but I have to work through that first. Can you... Give me a little time on that, please. Sure. And as Curla says this, they're looking down at um, the locket open, looking at both pictures. Mm -hmm. 
and very quietly they'll say to themselves, he did this from memory. Do you mind if I perception to see if I caught that? Go for it. Okay. 34. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> People tend to be able to do that when they think of someone a lot. Yeah. But Riz is pretty straightforward with where they're looking. They're watching the back of Vera's carriage and all its... Well, it looks a lot better since it got worked on, I suppose, but mm -hmm. there's still bees there's everywhere. Still, there's still, like, hive buildup in Blech. small portions now. Nasty. It's actually worse inside. Mm -hmm. And if I can help you, if you still want my help with this, with... That was the name. Could not think of it last night. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, Kevin. The situation. Ah. If you still Remind want my help with that. Petravian. <laughs> Petravian. <laughs> it was Thess. <laughs> if you still want my help with that, it's not me trying to fix you. It's me trying to help a friend. Because that's what friends do, apparently. I mean, I'm not... Uh, that great at the whole friendship thing, I'm working on it. Mm. I mean, yeah, but I, um, I don't know how much you can help, really. I think it's just gonna take its course. Like a river. Mm. Or time. Time is kind of like a river. Mm. Yeah. It'll be okay. You say that, I almost believe it. And yet, linger in doubt. So sometimes I wish I had your faith that all everything's gonna work out all right. Mm, even if it doesn't, I have no regrets. That must be nice. It's a much simpler way to live than most mortals. Existing is exhausting for most. That's uh, an understatement, I would say. Mm. Anyway, you you ready for what we're likely to find in here? Yeah, I am. Whatever it may be. It's been a wild ride. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> You know, the first time we had a spat, which was my fault for the record, and I apologized enough for that. I recall starting my apology by saying that I don't under didn't understand you. Mm -hmm. I still don't understand you. I don't think you have to understand people to care about them. That is where I was going with that. And the carriage is going to roll along. So you all make 40 miles of progress this day. Eventually, as the sun sets, you stop traveling and Varda Vargon is cast. And you all have another evening uh, within that pocket dimension. Is there anything that you wish to do during that time? Or would you like me to advance it again? Sure. Give me that pocket dimension. You got it. Ooh. All right. So this is the Vardo at the evening of August 13th. Ah, good work, everyone. We really made headway there. Did we? I mean, we yeah, moved. I didn't see anything. Ah, uh, dusty and uh, rocky out there. Yeah, but we might be moving in the wrong direction. You of all people is not what I would consider being upset about that. We're, we're going in the right direction. We're going in the wrong direction? No, I mean the rocky and dusty part that oh, Petravian yeah. is, is kind of funny. A little ironic if I'm using the word I mean, correctly. yeah, Have rocky, but it, it, the, the, dust gets in the, the dust gets inside the armor and gets all itchy and oh. scratchy. Yeah, but can't you, like, suck it in? 
You're saying you don't like sand? Oh, sorry, no dust, rock, sand was sejun. My 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 mistake. It rubs weird. Oh, yeah. it makes sound. It's too cool. Exactly. <clears throat> Got to use lotion. Ugh. Get dry, cracked knuckles. Not this hand anymore. He is such but an no. interesting being. Yeah, wait, no. So how does your horn melt me into stone well? Can you not do it to the two little bits? Uh, run that by me again? You used to be able to go into, like, yeah, stone. Yeah, you could... When, when, I, when, I, oh. when I sent the robots at you, you went into the ground. Remember the dust, when there was a giant the jelly about to kill the vet and you just kind of went mm -hmm. whoop, away from everything? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I saved the day. Yeah, Thank you. Where you are now. <laughs> um. Well, to put it bluntly, I can't do that anymore. Have you tried? What? Yeah. I mean, it's not I uncommon. You know, one in five. You you just have to sort of relax about it. Yeah, I mean... Is You're putting too much pressure on yourself. Audience? Performance anxiety is very common. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I, I, I understand that. Oh, uh, you got you, you have to feel it. But I ain't feeling it no more. That sounds complex. Wait, so you felt it all the time? Did you try to... Yeah, I felt like, the connection to the ground. I felt the connection to the earth. If you were walking on, like... Drop no? off if you're feeling it that. Did you have to make sure you don't like whoop, fall into the calm? Yeah, were you always well, concentrating I mean, on that? Yeah. Well, think of it this way. If it if I was enough, drunk, I was I might on something else. If I was drunk, I might have slipped down. Like I just, I'm stumbling. That's because I'm not concentrating. What about when you sleep then? <laughs> yeah. Does your arm? No, your armor you also goes in. Mood? Yeah, why you does your armor go in? Do you, are, is your armor a part of your body? No, I've seen it all. Mm -hmm. Huh. That's true. I think it's... I, I I don't know all the mechanics around it, but I think I emit <laughs> like an aura around myself. Well, you, it's a different color now. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's a different armor and it doesn't do mm -hmm. that. Anymore. What if he can only Maybe go in it's... gold? It's amber. Ooh. It's not. It's not gold. What if he can only go in amber then? Or if he can't go in, what if it's with it is gold, not the problem. Mm. We'll have to try this another time. Yeah, Got to figure out how to fix it. I don't mean to uh, to uh, <clears throat> objectify you uh, for your species, Petra. Mm -hmm. It's really it's interesting. I don't mean to make like a like a, a show of your your natural ability, so. Aww. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. No, it's. I have I have new abilities that I can do now. <laughs> they Wait, just aren't yeah, as useful. Just... <laughs> what is it? What do you do now? Uh, I remember him talking about it, but I don't yeah, remember him that. using it in battle. Wait, it's hold, hold on. Beast? You can grow the beard out, right? Is that one of the new ones? No, that's an no, old one. No, I can still do That's an old one. I can still do that. But why didn't you do that all the time? It would quite suit you. Because it doesn't last that long, unfortunately. And what, you can't grow on outside of the spell? No. Oh. Oh, I, I'm, sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry. You know how some people are follicularly challenged? Well, I'm crystally challenged. Well, you I guess your brother is in. Oh, God. Yeah, he had a glorious crystal beard. I mean, eh. Did you see how it shot, how it glinted off the sun? Was when he was killing you, yes. I, I, I think we... It was blood I feel that like you wouldn't be able to look down without stabbing himself. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if it, like, kind of moves a little, like, um, like wind chimes. Oh, wow. Yeah, I never thought about that. What if it's, Maybe like, so sleeping like the, that? Mm, yeah. I think you're, like, over, living clink, clink, the better clink. life without it. Did we ever come to a consensus on what we'd do if we find him again? Did you want us to not kill him, Petravian, or...? Risen looks over at Levette and then looks away. Were we, you know, kicking the shit out of him, or what What were we doing there? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Probably... Yeah, okay, just... here's the oh. thing. As much as I, as much as y'all probably want to kill him, I mean, yes, I wouldn't mind giving him a kick in the a kick in the marbles myself. He but... did kill you. You remember that, right? You were right? there for that. Yeah, I think. no. Yeah, and a qu swift kick to the marbles is a good is at least a start. But um, how would anyone kick marbles? I the marbles. Isn't there a young you are marbles? Sorry, he I was couldn't... pebbles. He was pebbles, not marbles. Oh, pebbles. <laughs> yes, pebble. Pebble, not pebbles. Oh. Um, it's just one. Yes. <laughs> singularly. Singular. Uh, no. The I would prefer not outright killing him at, at first. Though, to be fair, I really don't think we could. I mean, it would take all of us to get him down, I think. I mean, have you seen what Rez can do? Uh, I'm well aware of what You've seen what Zara can do with that bloody scythe, right? Arshi, and you Lever. saw what he... I we literally ganged up on him. He would die. No, I I don't know. At least one of us would go down, though. Definitely. Yeah, that might be plenty too. I mean, so I mean, maybe we don't just you... outright attack. Oh, I wasn't yeah. planning on it. I mean, you were you were dead at the time, Petra. But um, the, he he seemed like he was kind of upset about it. He looked like he felt felt bad. So I thought, you know, we probably don't need to jump. Well, I mean. Yeah, he was acting completely real. He was, he was just got all real somber all of a sudden, and then uh -huh. uh, Bella came out and uh, attacked him, and he just completely ignored her. What are you talking about? He was running away from the bees. But yeah, I mean, he was walking away. He just walked really fast. It's I was, called I was a run, Levet. No, no, he he was like walking in fast motion, like he was. He, like like five fucking horses put together. Yeah, it was crazy. Like he was in haste all the time. <laughs> I tried to find him in the town, and uh, and and so I, I tried to do the same to catch up, and they they got in trouble. That bitch moved mm. faster than a fucking horse. I don't know. Damn. He was literally. I mean, he wasn't running. He was just kind of. No faster than my horse. Moving. <laughs> If that if that if he's anything like your horse, then I retract any offer to help kill him. I think we should stay as far away as possible. What is your obsession you. with my horse? Do you remember when I Stop did it. the old, you know, ointment on my eye, true seeing type business with the? If that I doesn't ring a bell. I think I told you about this, Levet. Carla could see me as my actual self. Oh yeah, I didn't realize it. Right. Stuff on the eyes. I also saw the horse as what the horse in inverted commas is, and I uh, mean, what? you know, I'm not getting into this. Fine, call it a horse if you like. Okay. It functions as a horse if you like celestial metaphor. So fine, why not? I'm not. I mean, what is a horse if it doesn't pull a cart? I'm not playing to play a game here. I don't understand what's going on. When I saw it using the spell that lets me see things as they are, it was not a horse. Do you so not remember me having my little freak out? Yeah, well... Kyle, what, what was did it, you turn... So... What do you mean? Yeah, what was it? I How don't... many eyes did it have? It did looked... it have two eyes? What? It looked like the eye of an angry god. It looked like a rip in the fabric of everything. Was it angry at me? Yeah, when the uncle <laughs> got like Zabi Changels? Or like. Uh, Can you draw uh, it for us? Yeah. Maybe he was also not else. Oh. Oh, Miss Miss Fetafli, sorry. Wrong It was one of the most horrifying moments in my entire life. I felt like if I stared into it long enough, it would start staring back at me. I mean, the, storm, the the horse normally stares back, if not in space. Does it, does it say anything? It no. It did kind of move towards me the next time I saw it, and we kind of, I think we came to an understanding. I hope. I don't believe... you understand very much. I Look, when Riz says don't touch horse, just don't fucking touch horse, all right? I wasn't planning I it. I don't want to make Lee's upset. Good. Right. It's always a bad idea. I mean, now I really want to touch it. What? You're gonna fuck it. Petravian. 
Fine, right, go and touch it right now. Don't touch me. You've, you've, oh, you know, you've only died it's once it's in the past welcome. month. What's it's twice, really sir? We put so much work into getting him back alive. Maybe you'll come back and you'll be serving a horse god. Oh, maybe. Maybe you'll have mm. evil eye powers. Mm. I mean... Nah. I guess that would be under nature, so it'd just be Eden again. Oh, is it? I mean, animals well, are nature. Mm -hmm. Is it next thing a, I think an extra planar creature could I say? Wait. Riz, that mean you, you didn't even know any of this? No. Where'd Wait. you get the fucking horse from? I bred Why it! Why don't With you what? Want to Another horse! horse! Well, not this one. I mean... I, I had a horse when I started. Too, yeah. like... Okay. And, and now you have... A different uh, horse. It's been years. They last like 20-ish years. They don't live that long. This is like so far down in the, the spectrum of, of life when it comes to horses. I would... You know, my first horse was amazing. It would listen to everything I said. Hell, I didn't even have to say anything half the time. I would just think something and it would do it for me. It was my best friend. That doesn't even Rez, sound like a horse. Would you like to see the horse as I saw it, Rez? Why don't you want us to touch the house if it's not for this reason? Me? Yeah. I don't know, just a gut feeling. Also, I just don't want you to touch my horse. It's my thing. I want you into my house. But I'm would... here. I don't intend to. I just I they yelled you at the reason and it sounded like we were coming to eat. Wait, is this thing dangerous? I don't think so. It's pretty fucking stupid. But Kels is not dangerous, so, it's a house. Don't talk to I mean you say it's you say that sort of thing and then it gets it in a, it in their head that they are stupid, or they're just taking real offense to it. Look, you could just be, you know, be nice to them. Like, what if we bring this to the hive and, like, Bredouvi touches it? She knows right? Better. No one touched the horse, as far as I know, when we were at the hive. I mean, no one went missing, so... What if we... Like, what if we make the people we don't want to deal with touch it? That, yeah. What if that affects his, like, not that I care, but what if that affects his personality? The house? I yes. mean, he's a... What is his personality? Well, it's maybe... Stump, if you ask me. Maybe Petravian can bond with his brother, and his brother can touch the horse. <laughs> Look, if whoever wants to... Fl we're going to sleep after this. We're oh, no, God, it's the start of the day. This oh, is how no. long we've been Why having just, this conversation this about the horse. Uh, it's the evening. Evening of the 13th. Evening. I'm not going to be asleep after all this. I can't. Is Carl's actually going to stroll to the door of the Varda, like, open it and check. Right, it's even a fucking hell. Of just all right. You can see the window where I can if... look at my horse all night. Do you actually want to see the horse as I saw it? I don't really people care. wanting to do it. I, I really do, actually. Right, you owe me two hundred and fifty gold pieces for the pleasure. That's <laughs> how much the ointment cost me. Is that worth it to you? Uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, it is. Right. Um... Anyone else? Next time we're, really next time we're in town. We'll... Being rich. Vera? Levat? I'm, I'm good. <sighs> I'm not, I don't need to... to I'll take you out, fine. Rez, you all right with us? Yeah, you can look at it, just don't touch it. Damn. I wasn't planning on it. Right, Petravian, <laughs> get your big, bulky, rocky arse over here. Like maybe if this becomes not relevant bulky. right now. It's Tone! It's Tone, you... big. Just get it over here, for fuck's sake. You can be toned and bulky. You can be bulky. I just squats, damn it. Not into right. the mic, though. <laughs> so, Curla will, will reach into their pouch and pull out one of the ointments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of the, uh, the ones they have remaining. So, I'll go ahead and reduce that by one. Uh, and they will dip their finger in and just sort of dab it on your eyes. Right, yeah. keep your eyes closed for a moment. Yeah. No, well, your eyelids, oh. sorry. Keep your eyes closed for a moment, right? And dab it, dab it, rub it in a little bit. Uh, and then they will uh, murmur under their breath as they cast. Actually, hold on, no. Um, they, they pause a moment. Uh, Rez, mm. are you all right with Petravian seeing everything the way it is? Why would I give a shit? Well, he'll see you the way. Oh, no. <laughs> the horror. 
I don't mean it like that. I just thought maybe you thought that was private. That's all. Not at all. <laughs> it does that too? Yeah, you can see me as I am, apparently. Oh, I'm not interested now. Well, <laughs> too okay, late. Okay, okay. <laughs> too, too late, there's <laughs> none left. Well, did you get it? Uh, we'll talk about this another time. Right, <laughs> Petrivian. <laughs> mm. Curla will um, place their fingers together and do one of these motions and then hold it up to either eye as they cast True Seeing. So light will uh, emanate from the point at which the fingers touch and just shoot into your eyes. The ointment will kind of sparkle as they cast True Seeing. Mm -hmm. Which... Retrieving this this mm. this this feeling of like almost like this little rush of energy enters into your eyes. You blink a few times reflexively, rub your eyes, and look out. And most everything else in this room is exactly the same as it was before, except Riz. Mm. Whereas before you saw, let me actually pull up my notes on this. An old crone. Yeah, an old with crone, a old, haggard old crone, hun, haggard old crone with a hunchback. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Rings all on their fingers. Yeah, and here all we that go. Very of... thin hands, gnarled, skeletal, thin, adorned with loose fitting rings. Their faces weathered and cragged from numerous cold winters. They have a hunched back uh, that belies the speed at which they can move, but they have a warm and welcoming smile. You no longer see that person. In their, in their place, you now see a an elf with purplish skin, white hair, and purple eyes. Petravian's stand, just standing there, just kind of slack-jawed, like... Right. Huh. Yeah, I might have buried the lead a little bit there when I was talking about the horse, but... Wow. Oh, Looks good, um, Claudian. Okay, jeez. Well, thank you. I guess. Ta-da. One thing you notice that's interesting is that their ears are not shaped like any elf ears you've ever seen. It's almost like they have uh, twin points, like like someone's gone through and like clipped the ends, of, like the tips of their ears off, so they actually have two points instead oh. of one. Huh. They're the same person, Petravian. I... <clears throat> He's gonna... Uh, Petravian's blushing a little bit. Uh, yes, of course. Oh, yes. God, it can't take you anywhere. <laughs> <sighs> so show me this damn horse. Don't call it a damn well, horse. I mean, it is a damn horse. You can see it out the window, right? Yeah, the, the window has it. You, I mean, don't get right, on my let's... bed, but like, you know, you can look out from the window next to it. Of course, I'll just leave. Sake, out. Don't go out there and touch it. Oh. Huh. And so what do trivia. I see? You see a twisting vortex leading into an endless hellscape of planar nightmares. Carla's just it's looking some... at Petra's face. It somehow seems both infinite distance away from you and immediately about to attack you. you. You have a sense of existential dread and foreboding that creeps up into the back of your throat. Yeah, that's the thing that Rez has been given sugar cubes and carrots to, aside from me. He likes them! He does, for some reason. Petra turns around just staring at Riz. Hello. The fuck do you get that? <laughs> And how the hell is it harnessed to this Vardo? With leather? Well... <clears throat> okay, first of all, I think that the answers are pretty apparent for these. And second of all, uh, what do we say about spelling? Jeez, Petra. <laughs> no. Okay. When you're trying to take in what that is, it helps to stare. Like you said, you stare too long, it feels like it starts staring back at you. Don't stare at Riz. It's still rude. 
Um, don't seem to have all scales, but... Oh yeah, he probably can't even tell. He is dumb. Verity, it lasts one minute per level. I assume I can, dis since I cast it, I can dispel it prior to that, or does it have to run its course? I feel no, like I want to could... throw a rock into it. <laughs> you what? can end the effect. You want to yeah. throw a rock at resistance horse? Not, throw a rock at... Oh, Wait, you want to throw a rock at the horse? Petrabian? No, I want to throw don't... a rock into the vortex. Don't That's even the... think okay. about it. Yeah, let's do that. All right, Carol is going to wave their hand and dispel the magic so the little glittery stuff over your eyes will just dissipate and you'll be seeing things as you were seeing them prior to uh, to me casting that. So, you... Petra, uh, you now see a horse. Do you still want to throw a rock at it? <laughs> I know Vera does. That's because Vera just doesn't like the horse. Vera's wanted to since she met the fucking thing. <laughs> yes. So you understand now why I had my little freak out that one time. I mean, yeah, I get it. <laughs> it, it, it. <laughs> oh, a beautiful horse. You see horse now. It's so handsome. Ah, hey, Riz, Riz, you know, I know you say that is horse. And you know, a rose by any other name. Um, You can call it horse. I would call it a swirling vortex of death, but... Um, Deaths? Who died? Well, Petravian, but we brought him back. Or yeah, is dead or is someone dead? Wait, did you, is that what you saw when you died? No, I did not see that. I had a nice, lovely Wait, field. That, what do you mean, field of deaths? flowers? I had a lovely field of flowers. Well, it's not that a lovely is an abomination. Petravian, that's to a me, bit it's a lovely field of flowers. Also, <laughs> of. The black hole takes us from black to from place to place, and the Happy Field of Flowers is death. Petravian, if you throw a rock at that thing, you won't have any rocks left of your own, if you know what I mean. And I won't be helping you regenerate them. I think you use all rocks. Okay, this does bring up a question, and if you don't want me to interrogate you, Elias, I don't, I won't, but... Uh, do you remember when you got the, the previous rocks? Well, I don't remember the first one, but I remember every horse after that. Okay. You remember getting them? Yes. So every what? time, uh, either it be a mare or a stallion, like it depends, but I would spend time as it got older and couldn't continue on, I would spend time in the world a little bit longer than normal to breed the next one and raise the next one from Philly or Colt into an adult. So other houses can touch the house? Probably. I mean, you, you do For have to have a little bit of touch yeah. in order for that kind of, Do I have to explain yeah. this from the beginning? Hmm? You know, when, a, when a horse, when a, when a mare and a stallion love each other very much, Levat. Yes, I know what I'm saying. What you do, do you know. Mean? All right. Great. Well, that's that's a lot of time. I'm the one out of subtext stuff. What are you talking to me about? <laughs> In this bar, though, how... like. My question is how does a swirling vortex of death mate with a horse? But well, that's... Yeah, it's just. It's, 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 it's... Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Maybe it's just a vortex of horses' past. Yeah. Or maybe hmm. it's just a house from another. Like, it's a different kind of house. Yeah, that could probably Chisel, be it. Chisel can fly and do all kinds of crazy powers, but that doesn't make him not an elk. Yes, however, they're, when you're looking at Chisel, it is Chisel. Well, I mean, yeah, it's not like any other elk I've seen before. to this vehicle before. is not a horse. A giddy-up, giddy-up, let's go horse. I'm beginning maybe. to regret having brought this up. Yeah. But seriously, I don't react that way when I see Chisel, and he's not like any elk I've ever seen. And what kind of elks have you seen? Oh, I've lie. seen one where there were eyes on the horns instead of here. Uh, That's disgusting. Well, it depends on the. So world. what happens in the sp what happens uh, in the sp uh, what was it? Be the fall when winter. they when they fall off? Yeah, when in the fall when the winter. What what happens oh, when their antlers not fall off? It's horns on those. Oh, they're just like eye stalks. Yeah, except they don't move. 
It's like what? they have bone around them, but they don't fall off. It's very weird. What I'm hearing as a player is that we need to try and breed the horse with chisel. Ooh, I don't think that's how it, it works. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's undulates. how that works. They just had to be undulates. That's it. <laughs> we'll get we'll get a, a mule vortex. <laughs> but no, that means that I can't breed another horse, so Riz wouldn't be cool at that. Yeah. And then they'll all go to that lovely farm upstate that Marcus takes care of. <laughs> Look, we'll breed a mule vortex, and that is actually the abyss that's consuming everything. <laughs> I I am the hole at the bottom of the egg, actually, and yeah. I've been carrying it with me this entire time. Oh, shit. The, the prophecy I'm, is foretold. Like, <laughs> it's not actually at the bottom of all nine hells. It's actually Riz is the one protecting it, and they don't even know. <laughs> Could have closed at any time. I'm watching Beardy right now. I'm yeah, watching I'm watching Beardy too. I'm set. <laughs> yep. Shit. P -p -p Poker face. Shit. Shit. No, that's not. It's redacting. That's that's not. <laughs> oh, not into the mic. Right. <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, I love you. It's a great idea though. <laughs> it is a good theory. Anyway. <laughs> it was a joke. Well, but new information aside, don't touch horse. Got that it. That is what I've been saying. Yes, but I thought you were particular about the horse. Andreas, let's be honest, it's Petravian. Oh, no, Eventually no. he would have touched the damn horse. Oh, yes, there is, there's now a distinct reason why I shouldn't there touch horse, aside from reason. the fact that you're very protected of, a, of it. The reason was because you all asked not to. Why should this change anything? That's a fair point, but it, it's Petravian. I, I feel like we're n n not giving him a, a credit. Uh, no, yeah, I don't think that that's that an excuse. I feel like he would have more self-preservation self to not touch my horse. Well, I think this just shouldn't matter. Who never got us who you are? I don't think the patch also get a pass now, so then he just always gets a pass for consent. That doesn't make sense. Mm. You've completely lost me, but all right. But if, if reason says don't touch my house, that should be as good of a reason. That's like one as... of the few things I care about. Right, that yeah. should, that, I agree, that yes. is a good reason, but it's <laughs> yeah. Petravian, he does but it shouldn't things matter sometimes. <laughs> so just, this is another point of, of interest, uh, Petravian. When the true seeing spell was was ended by Curla, um, what you see as Riz has shifted again, and it's now hmm. sort of, I would say, it's splitting the difference between these two, between oh. what you initially thought and what you saw under the effect of the spell. So, Riz's so old for Elf. you is slightly different now. Well, no hunchback. Mm. Woo! No hunchback. <laughs> no, no, no hunchback. But now, kind of still like got the wisdom. rings though. Kind of like a, yeah, rings and kind of a wizened looking purple elf. Hmm. That's You're cool. staring at me a lot. It's just I very said... interesting magic that you all got going on there. <laughs> They're called curses, but okay. Yeah, it's a curse. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's still, it's one, it's still magic, and two, it is still very interesting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very, I'm I am intrigued by by mystery. When you tell I don't me, don't think do, do these would... things make it less fluid, but whatever. I guess they're not untrue. <laughs> no, finish that thought, Petravian. When you tell you not to do something, no. When you tell me don't open this box, I really want to know what's inside that box. But I understand that I shouldn't open the box. But I really want. It's a it's a, it's a very interesting feelings of duality. Yes. That's a nice. And then eventually you open the box because that's what you've done yeah, that's countless a, times. That's a nice there. mole. That this melanoma, it still looks like a mole, <laughs> and it's still a stink skin condition. Carla's gonna cross over the room and make Petravian a cup of tea. Cross back over, shove it into his hands. Right, drink this. Thank you. I need to sit down now. Hmm. <sighs> Levette, have you had any time to think about that device you wanted to make? That's right. You said you could reverse the dead lanes, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have had time to think about it. 
And I've been doing a lot of thinking because uh, once I realized that that book could maybe bleed our thoughts, I kind of had to change my approach so you wouldn't just know. Um, so, yeah, I'm also here the context. Could, um, please, I told you the story about this device I put on my arm that, that, that didn't. Same thing. Do. Got it. Right. Yes. But this I'm time, sorry. It, this time it won't be like fucked over over by someone else, right? Well, this time it's meant to do the the, the version that was wrong last time. Okay, so to be more complex because you didn't intentionally do the mistake, so you got to figure out how to make the mistake. I think I figured it out already, but yeah. Well, you... you know, I say that, but uh. Well, do you need anything? No. I'm lying. Sorry. I don't know it. I don't know how I did it. I tried to make these doubts that take it that do the same thing and they don't work. They never work. Well, why don't we test it more? Here, test it on me. Uh, doesn't seem like a good mm. idea. No, I'm Seems not like going to test it on a different person. Mm. Can I just clarify that y you think that this will disrupt necromantic energy? Is that? It sucks out the magic. Any magic? Policy thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the design. It was meant to take, like... Because, like, little things, like yeah. blades of glass and, and, and uh, fruits and little bugs, they do have kind of a sword of their own. And uh, it's, it's not using up a lot of energy. So it doesn't do a lot of harm to, to pull that out. So I built the device to... to Grab all of the energy in the area and coalesce it. I just had to retune it to, to be specifically from necromancy, uh, which I I want to talk to Kelly about that because that's how I learned my expertise. Uh, and then it should work in theory. Alright. Well, well, then you should talk to Kara so we know what we need. Well, I was going to Maybe. once we have. I mean, it, it's more than a sp sending spell as well as the world, so I was going to see how I thought we done here. How, uh, how sure are you that you can make this work? Like, give it to me in numbers. What other option do we have? Give it to me in numbers. But Vera, Vera actually reacts with, yeah, that makes sense to me. In numbers? How confident are you that it'll work versus backfiring and making things worse? Based on making things worse, let's see. Well, based on what I know right now, which is not a lot, we have, like, like you know, like 80, 90 of a percent. That would so, be good. You know, like, so, like, 0.9 percent. But, you know, it, Making it backfiring is even though well, else that's not probably going to happen. And if it does, I I've got some failed saves and working on, so it will really affect me. Um Say that part again? It'll only affect you if it fucks up? Well I mean yeah, it's just there's a bit backup plan. Failed save, you know. Not sure that I'm comfortable with you putting your life in the line like that, but alright, setting that aside for a moment. <sighs> Let me know if I can help Lovette. I'm not smart in this way, but I've got tricks up my sleeve. Yeah, I, you might be able to. Um, so I will. I will talk to you about it. In good time. I mean, Karis, I think, is obviously the expert on necromantic stuff. But if it yeah, concerns well life and death, I've got a little bit of experience under my belt as well. So if I can help you with this to make sure that it does work as you think it will, then I've got your back. Um, yeah. You might be able to help me understand why it was not working before. I can try. Well, it's just if, if uh, my experiments aren't working super great, then maybe I don't have worry about getting out of that. Right, well, I mean, if something explodes and you get hurt, I'll fix you up. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, explosions are probably the least dangerous thing that might happen, but that's okay. Right, well, I mean, patching you up is one thing. If it takes out half of the continent, I might have a job fixing that up, but I'll do my best. 
Oh no, I can name it to my my little box. Ah, That's I see. What the box is for? Oh right, uh, that makes more sense now. I thought you just liked gears, but no. I thought this uh, might get dangerous, so I figured it would be a good place to work on it. Petraven, you doing all right over there? How's the tea? <laughs> Perfect temperature, thank you. And no, and no swirling vortex of deaths inside of it. I am regretting having shown him things. Well, that you wanted to see what I look like. <sighs> I mean, I'm curious. I don't want to be invasive about it. Well, I don't care if you see me. It's it's up to Carlo, but. Rez, are you comfy with Levet seeing you as you are? I'm comfortable with everyone seeing me as I am. Levet, I'm being a dick. Come over here. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were able to? You just didn't. No, Curla was like, nope, too late. <laughs> ah. All right. Curla will reach into their pouch and pull out another little uh, bit of the eye ointment. Oh, I hit plus instead of minus. Now I've done minus, so we're down to that many. Curla will uh, oh, close your eyes, you? would you please? Oh, yeah. yeah. How, right. how much are you about this? Oh, don't even fucking worry about it. It's not a big deal. When we save the world, we can figure out accounts. Okay, well, that seems fair. Curla will uh, will wipe it on your eyes and sort of rub it in. Maybe a little bit more forcefully than they need to. They're kind of kicking themselves a little bit for having brought this whole thing up, but they'll rub it in. All right. Love that. And then they will um, they will prepare to cast the spell again. So they will hold their fingers over your eye and do a motion over them twice as they cast true seeing. Right, love that. You feel a rush of energy into your eyes. You blink right. a few times reflexively and then look around. Everything oh, no. seems about the same except for Riz <laughs> who looks strangely different. This is what you see. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow! Oh, wow. Um, oh, wow. Please, um, uh, I hope you don't mind me saying, but you're, you're beautiful. Huh. You're really cool. <laughs> oh. Oh, thanks. I think you're hell. No. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to regret this in the morning. It's okay. Uh, uh, Carlo called me saying. um. a very nice no compliment as well. Numinous was the word I used for your eyes. Yep. Yeah. I I see what else you were saying about this. Looking at my mother, not to be wild. Oh, that ship has sailed. Bloody hell. Uh, anyways, if you look outside, apparently there's a goddamn vortex, so... Yeah, I'm kind of scared to do it, but I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. Uh... Ah, join the club. Wish me luck. I mean, you don't have to. Petravian, put the kettle you on, will you? We're gonna need more tea. Yup. It's a choice. If you cho choose to turn around, you will see it. If not, you can just look over at the fireplace or the dinner I table look. or at me. I don't know. Carla will raise their hand. I can dispel it before you look if that's what you prefer. I'm gonna just turn around and look real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you turn and look, and what you see is instead of a uh, horse standing there staring dumbly at nothing. You instead see a twisting vortex leading into the infinite, beyond which you can feel terrible dread as whatever is back there on the other side of that vortex is staring back at you hungrily. Oh, holy you get, shit! <laughs> you get like a, a, almost like a fight or flight response immediately. Like you want to, you want to either attack it or run away just reflexively. I just look away. Oh, oh. That's, that's, yeah, this that seems crazy. Wow. I, uh, you had a good look at Leve at uh, at the horse and at Rez. Oh, you... Yeah, sure. I mean... Right. Carla will wave their hand and dispel. All right, yeah, you end the effect. And Leve, your vision returns to normal. So, is Riz a mix of Levet's and... Yeah, which, which just to refresh your memory... Was it a human... Uh, yours was a human of some kind 
of a, uh, with dark hair, female, hard to describe the age, but probably early to mid thirties, uh, relatively simple, but atypical clothes for the region that you're in. Um, and now they're like, like now they're like that, purple. but also purple with, uh, with long ears. Yeah. Oh, well, you look like very normal now. I mean, yeah. Normal? Well, it's normal for them. Interesting choice of words. I mean, I don't know. I guess that is, you know, I think that the, the cast of films we see is not normal. Vera, you sure you don't want to get in on this? Oh, I think I'm good. Um... I don't mean to make a spectacle of it. I feel kind of embarrassed now. No, it seems that the joint consensus is that it's not a good experience looking at the fucking horse. So. Oh, yeah. It just arbitrarily made me feel bad. See, and this like, is why Vera is the leader. I thought I would find it interesting, and I did, but it was just like... <laughs> it just made my stomach feel like I was going to slow up. I mean, sometimes I feel that way when they won't listen to me. Yeah, and sometimes this man makes me feel that way. Anyway. <laughs> But Petrivian, put some peppermint in the tea, will you? For, you know, a the stomach. Bit. Ginger works well, too. Ginger, too, then. I what don't do like mint in my drink. Uh, Throw some cinnamon, it'll balance it out. Oh, how about a big big old glob of honey in there, too? Just for oh. good measure. No, I don't, oh, go on I don't then. like my sweetened. Well, this is for, this is for Levat, but... Oh, hmm. I want a tea. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll make you one, and Carla will head over and start making Riz the tea that they like in whatever style they like it. Yeah. I've got this g tea that's just loaded up with ginger and honey. I'm just looking at it like I have been really asked. Okay. It'll help, trust me. Listen, horses aside, Lavet, when you get more information, let us know if there's anything we need. All right. Ta -da. Bye. Wait, more information on what? Uh, the the device you want to make for the Deadlands. Right, that part. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not going to keep everyone queued in on every step of this because it's uh, pretty complicated. Like the, the the original device was the culmination of all of my education, and this is like ten times that. But it's also um, literally the only option we have so far. So. I mean, I know of yeah. I tell you one thing, if you need diamond powder, I know that uh, Vera's got some for you. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> the sass. <laughs> like, you get a major stink eye from Vera. No, it's yeah, just it's one eye. Right. Just one eye. Carla will wink in response. Let's just sit down, have dinner, have a good evening, and we'll get on the road tomorrow. How about that? Sounds good. All right. And uh, just Petravian food appears on the table. As we're noshing, uh, Petravian will mention to uh, will low low conversation. Uh, Riz. Yes. So, in your, I don't know if you've experienced this. Has people's fortunes changed after they've been, I guess, brought back? How many people have you done a fortune for, killed them, and then did their fortune again? <laughs> I mean, it is race. That could be a good number. I mean, I know. Well, they just don't bring people could back. Could be. Um, Petrovian, uh, may I be a little curt with you? Well, there was some tactical silence there. <laughs> <laughs> can I be curt with you? Like, uh, oh, yeah, what? sorry, no, uh, I, oh, can you? Yes, absolutely, go ahead. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's a sorry, I thought it cut out. Sorry, <laughs> go ahead. Um, people's fortunes change all the time because they will get fulfilled or the time will pass that they go past what the fortune was. Hmm. I hope you understand. Yeah. You said this conversation is low key, so we don't hear it. Yeah, pretty I mean, much. Risen's not whispering. Let's be fucking honest. Oh, okay then. That's that's enough for me. <laughs> there you go. Do you see, the, can people change what happens? I mean, not everything is set account? in stone. 
That's why a lot of them are vague anyways. It's more about the uh, action happening after... No, it's it's more like outcome ha happening after action. And... Well, yeah, so shit it's changes right? all the time because time is not one simple thing. Right, it is like a clock. You have all the keys that are locked into Gazelle, and you move one of them and all of them move. No, yeah, time is like a river. Kind of? Well, it, it, a river it is also like clockwork. Or like a tree, you know? Trees are also yeah. like clockwork. I'm more of a no fate but what we make person, but alright. Yeah, if a fortune changes, isn't it just a guess then? <sighs> Riz, yeah, Riz just anything. stops talking. I mean, that's a pretty good statement there. Good job, Vera. Like, could I be a fortune teller then, too? If I just, like, guess what happens? Yes. Oh. I think that's the most important thing. I mean, like, most of my fortunes I'm not actually using spells to look into. You like guys know just, that, right? You're just bilking people. Did you, do you use Whatever that means. Bilking, as in, you know, taking them for a ride. But sometimes you do actually look and... It depends know, on the person and what I feel like during the day. Some people are uh, worse on their luck, so I just kind of feel like uh, doing more. And sometimes I really hate someone and I want their day to be worse. <laughs> oh. So you lie to them? No, I changed their fortune. The wow. Time. Oh, oh, so. I mean. Oh. So you're a fortune teller that will actively fuck someone over. You know, suddenly I feel <laughs> lying to them is a be better. It's not every time. It's just sometimes okay. you meet someone who happens to be like this philanthropist who's like, I'm going to fuck over all these people. <laughs> no, is my fortune is going to be that. good? And I'm like, mm, you've really, really hurt a lot of people to get where you are. I don't like your vibes, my dude. And then I just kind of reverse their fortune a little. No, that is fair. That's fair. But mm. philanthropy is the opposite of that. I mean, it what, if it harms a lot of people, what if... And perhaps I'm not using the right is, word. Is using your money to, yeah. How many people um, do you know who've earned all of that money, Levat, by not hurting people? A lot of people are born into it. Oh, I mean, yeah, well, what's wrong with being born into it? Well, I've earned all of my money. I mean, you are, well, you, look, I mean, I was born into a good family, but I still, well, I lost a lot of money. But that was... <sighs> I was I wasn't really concerned about money. I was worried about big old things. It's it's it, 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 no, so really late yet to work, well, it. Actually, on no, on that good. note, how is your business going? Wasn't it in the hands yeah. of? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Right. How, oh, is she I doing alright? I'm going to see her on the way back. I gave her a lot of money last time I saw her, so uh, <laughs> let's, let's hope it turns the profit. I'm hey, just praying for Beardy to cut to Rella on a beach somewhere, just sipping a Mai Tai laughing. <laughs> Vera, Sorry. 10 gold says, that it says they've uh, they've completely collapsed the their business. That's not very nice. <laughs> I mean, I'll take I'm a bet. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. They got a good head on their shoulders. Yeah, but you're gonna wait, get a little bit anxiety. Were you the, wait, were you the one be... that was bidding against or for? Because I've from what I've seen, she does a pretty good job. I'm just bullshitting. She works really hard. So did someone want a fortune? I, I missed this, the conversation that started these. Petravian wanted a new fortune to see Sure! Give me your hand. He got new luck or something. Oh, no, I don't know if I want to, but okay. I mean, if you don't want it, I guess I could Why? give it to someone else. Wait, uh, what well, changed, though? With the fact, okay. I'm just like legitimately confused. You're like now Riz I don't want it. I'm like, no, I want it. No, it was it. It's the fact that I was saying that I was that I was bidding against. Uh, oh, just be, as and I didn't want. Do want karma to come back after you? <laughs> Here comes the consequence. Consequence. Well, you know what the <laughs> thing about fortunes is: the karma comes uh -huh. either way. The fortune just lets you know. <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> very true. Gives you a good heads up. Okay, yes. You sure? Yes, please. That's a dead show. 
<laughs> All right. What? And Rizzle, out of a pouch, throw some rocks on the table, avoiding food, of course, just kind of in front of Petravian. Pick out three. Okay. Mm, the red one. The... They're all amethyst. <laughs> oh, they're all amethyst. <laughs> and thus we found out that Petravian was colorblind. colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is the red that one? That one, that one, and that one. Okay. The three gray ones. All right. Okay. All right. So. I don't know if this will work. But these. Petra gets reborn and is like, my skin's gray again, just like everyone else. <clears throat> and Beardy, Riz will mm -hmm. actually use their fate points for this. Okay. Does Petravian oh. have a new fortune? Uh, yeah. Um, you're you're creating a new fortune, or rather, redefining Petravian's fortune. That's true. So, yeah, you're you're doing that in the in the moment, and I'm writing it up. Okay. So, Riz is like looking through each of the stones, like, oh, I see. This is very important, I hope you know. <laughs> so each one I of these you, means have something else. Faith. And uh, honestly, you got a pretty even set for what you have. Um, one of them actually does involve religion. Just so you know. Really? Yes. Oh, so, we not so, yeah, so do your part and let me know when you're ready for my part. I mean, it's up to Petravian if he doesn't want you all to hear it, but I'm sure it'll be yeah, fun. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm, no, I'm, 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 I'm looking I'm, at Petra, Petra when I say that. Sounds no, kind I'm, of private. Please. Okay. This is my family. My flam I I trust my family with my life, and I hope they trust me with theirs. Riz there are some over. things about my life I wouldn't want my family to know. Is all I'm saying. So, hey. suddenly, as Riz is looking at these, their eyes glow kind of this like whitish purplish light and then it comes back and they look over at Petravian and it's a slightly concerned face you ready? are we ever? bridges require regular maintenance Wow, the fortune and engineering advice. All right at once. <laughs> I figured you'd sure enjoy that. That one wasn't meant for you, Levat. Yeah, that sounds like a win win. I mean, My you can have one too, Levat. I don't know if now's the time. <laughs> it may be the bad time for it. We'll do it another time. I want to play it by ear. We'll do it in private. You seem more like a private person. Yo. Yeah. And I might just want to wait until we're fucked to know how fucked I am. <laughs> it could be fun that way. All right, you got it. So, Kenny. Yeah. What food did Riz magic onto the table? Uh, I'm thinking like a traditional Thanksgiving meal that's just a little off looking. So it's a green cranberry in a can? Yeah. Like it's colored differently, but it, it it tastes right to how you imagine it would. Space and Thanksgiving. Yeah, space Thanksgiving. <laughs> space so there's, Thanksgiving. There's Hell space yeah. turkey then. Yes, or there is space turkey. Space... It's purple. It has three drumsticks. One's on the top. Yeah. I'm don't just know gonna why. say, space turkey sounds like an amazing punk band name. <laughs> <laughs> Ska. Carla will be uh, will be tucking into the space turkey. So, everyone is always welcome to have a fortune. I think it's fun to do. It lets me feel like I'm right in the world again anyways. Hmm. Well, anyways, we need to, we need to prepare That's for our trip true. ahead. Um... Before we get closer, because I don't know how long this journey will be, but, uh... I don't think it's coming to an end 
as we get closer to this, just let me have my gut feeling of I just tend to know things, right? I don't know. It just happens. Um, we should maybe be prepared for it, though. Of course, we will always be prepared for this, but what I wanted to say was um, this world is not going to end. I stake my life and my job on it. Is that a promise? No, it's a statement. I can't do a pinky statement. Would it make you feel better if I gave you a promise? A little bit else. Um, they'll, they'll reach across the table, across Petravia, <laughs> to pinky promise with Levette. Yeah, I have to, like, stand up in my chair and lean forward. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I still don't oh, understand I... this. <laughs> I didn't tease out. It's a thing you... You don't get it until you get it, and then it's just like, oh! <laughs> okay. I have to ask, Riz, is this you talking, or is this your other family telling you, you know? The no gods. one has told me anything in the past several days, as far as I remember. Well, I guess I talked to Cloak, but mostly just for gabbing. Bit of a gossip, that one. <laughs> no shit. Oh, yeah, he was. Well, if you say it's true, then, Rez, then I'll take that for, you know, for gospel. I feel like that doesn't quite make sense for me to have gospel when the gods have gods. That doesn't make sense. It's close enough. Okay. Well, oh, um, I am going to not exactly turn in for the night, but start watch for the night. Um, thank you all for dinner. Yep. We're not going to die. That's my statement. Well, Thanks now we'll make it to you. Space turkey was fantastic. It's not space turkey, it's called the Kakaris. It's called what now? Kakaris. Is that play to the Kakaris? Well, it's close enough to that pronunciation, yeah. Oh. <sighs> it's delicious, though, right? <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It tastes like a turkey from space. <laughs> What's a turkey? <laughs> I mean, I love the take of, taste of cock a, cock, cock a, uh, we, cock Oh, that's what Hummel told that us. Up, take that up with Hummel. <laughs> that does not for the rest of us. Hummel doesn't have a cock when he inhabits the better. Wait, what? Maybe... What? Ah, uh, this. I saw Petro was the one who made that. Yikes. Well, I feel like we must be offending <laughs> all of the gods right now. Like, where's, like, looking? across everybody especially the god who talks oh, all right one. so i'm going to bed i mean i'm gonna work on those schematics and then i'm going to bed all right good night Lovette. let me know if you need any help yeah i feel like someone's trying to kill me all of a sudden i guess that your horse might be angry <clears throat> my horse doesn't feel well i mean it kind of does but i mean no it doesn't feel at all well whatever it does but i'm feeling it now it's only getting to me all right, all right. sweet dreams <laughs> well, as the group stands from the table after sharing this evening meal, uh, you all turn in for the night ending August 13th and this session. Is Until it time, time already? Oh no! Yeah. No! <laughs> we didn't get up. Oh, bye everyone. Okay. Thank you for joining us. We Thanks for listening. As always, special thanks to William Succi and Andreas Pitchler for the intro and outro themes, and Emily Roll for Fantasy for this episode's soundtrack. Interested in following us on social media? Follow us on Twitter at CheckPleaseDD. Or want to support the podcast and be part of the Czech Republic? Go to our Patreon under the Czech Republic. Until next time! <laughs>